morning, everyone. Aloha, everyone. Oh, aloha. <laughs> I say we need to start and end every vlog on this entire trip with aloha, because okay. aloha is hello and goodbye. Do I'm I... actually down with that, yeah. I, yeah, I'm totally down with that. We're getting ready to head out of town to Maui for eight magical days in the sun. You guys, it's gonna be absolutely insane. There's been part of this trip where I was like, I don't actually believe we're going. We're not actually going, It right? seems too good to but be true. But it's here. We're packed. We packed up last night. If you guys didn't catch that vlog, go check it out. It was a lot of fun packing everybody up, but we packed kind of to the brim, so I think we're gonna add a bag. I don't know. We've got some things upstairs that we need to know. finalize. Thankfully, we do have a midday flight, so it gives us that morning to get that stuff done. Mom's been to yeah. the gym, tying up some loose ends around here. I've got all the vlog gear put together, put out the vlog of packing. That set. Think that we are nearly there. Let's go upstairs, see where we're at on the packing, get those yeah. bags down here and ready to rock. Make sure kids have got all of their power packs charged, yes. videos downloaded. We got a seven hour flight coming up. Salt Lake City to Maui. We get on in Salt Lake City. It was snowing this morning, by the way. Just throwing that out there. Step off the plane on the island of Maui. Mowawi, Brandon. Mowawi, we gotta get into the habit of saying Mowawi, and you are coming with us. It's gonna be awesome. up here putting together the last few pieces here as we pack up and get ready to get out of town. Like we said, we are leaving a little bit later today, so it gave us the opportunity to go through, reevaluate. We ended up bringing another bag here. This is one of our old bags. The first time we went to Hawaii, we got this set. Just grabbed a medium one to kind of put these loose ends, but mainly, guys, it's for Subies. So when we come back, we've got some decent space to pack back Subies because we kind of packed to the brim in each case, so our four cases were the perfect amount for just what we have. But if you want to bring anything back home, we did need a little bit of extra room. I do know that we want to bring some stuff home, so loading this one up, but keeping it kind of sparse, and then this is that waterproof GoPro bag that will go on the sailing excursions with us can literally be chucked into the ocean and it will keep everything protected. We put all of our camera gear, phones, things like that in this bag. I think we are about ready to seal these last ones up. We've got mom, the extra one, mine and Rye guys. The other kids are downstairs already in the kitchen. I think I we're ready to do this. <laughs> We got all of our bags, we got five bags. At least it's all blue, so it is color coordinated. Yeah. Kids have got their carry-ons. You have entertainment devices, power pack, Switch seven yeah. hours. Can I emphasize, seven hours. Seven. Sitting in the same That's seat eight. for seven hours. You don't even do that at school. Are you guys ready for this? Yeah. We are flying to the edge of the United States and then across the ocean, the islands of Hawaii. Landing in Maui. 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 Guys, Maui. Going down, let's load these bags up. Grab your carry-ons. Let's hit the road. I think we have enough time. If we leave now, we can swing by the house, just see what it oh. looks like before we head out. Then we'll know how it's changed when we get back. We have got all of the bags packed and loaded. By the way, I went outside to load the bags. It is a lot colder than I anticipated, it's so I grabbed my jacket. really cold. There were flurries. I was like, I thought it was going to be a like midday flight. We could kind of wear shorts and get away with it. I have shorts and flip-flops because we're going to step off the plane in Hawaii. I want to be ready for that, but I don't think I should have done pants. I it's know, cold. I in shorts. I'm always cold, so I wore pants. I like this for the flight because it's nice, but now I'm thinking definitely going to be using my blanket. Anyways, oh, yeah. definitely changing climates here. Leaving Utah, headed to Hawaii. Just said this on Instagram, <laughs> saying aloha to Utah and aloha to Maui. The hello and goodbye. Does that work. I don't I think know. it works. Whether it works or not, the hashtag Mawawi has begun, you guys. <laughs> I think we're ready. Should we go? Let's do you it. Ready to go? <laughs> Let's go. Had to do one last stop oh, yes. before we head out of town because we want to know what is the difference, what is it going to look like when we get back, guys. So here it is as we are heading out of town. It's what is going good. to change? It's looking fantastic. Like it I has need been to take a picture with my phone. crazy windy though, you guys. So we are wondering if maybe they're in the basement. I don't know where they're at working right now, but they are here. But it has been so windy. We were worried maybe some walls had come down, but they were prepared it looks for like that. Looks like everything's intact, right? Everything now. looks good. Roof is still on there, at least half of it, and that's all there was. <laughs> so I don't think if they have blew away or anything. We just wanted to give it one last little look before we head out of town. When we yes, come back, it looks so good. See all the progress that has happened, but it does. It looks fantastic. It looks awesome. We've parked, we've got a great spot right next to the shuttle pickup, guys. It is rigid. It is absolutely <laughs> it is. I think freezing. it was like 40 degrees. It's we windy, driving. it's light little Holy snow God. every now and then. Sunny beaches of Hawaii could not come soon enough, oh you gosh. guys. But they have done away with like our life hack, traveling hack, stop zero. It used to be right over there. It was like the first pickup and first drop off. I don't know how they had that magical stop. So now when you grab a shuttle in the higher numbers, you're gonna be on the shuttle for quite a while, but we've decided that we actually prefer that because then we get onto a somewhat empty shuttle. There's a place for all of these bags to fit. 
it and then we just have to wait a little bit longer as they pick up people on their way to the actual terminal. We're here, we're ready to get on this plane, we're ready to get out of this cold weather and into some warm sunny skies. We are here, we are through security right now, and we've kind of got almost like this little system where mom, crew, and Hazy go get pizza yeah. limone. Me, Rye Guy, and Brexy, we go hit Garbanzo, Mediterranean it's Fresh. So good. These guys love, what is your thing called? Laffa. A laffa. These guys get a laffa. I get a traditional euro. And then we meet back at the gate and we eat. And honestly, we enjoy it so much. It's one of the reasons that we come so early to the airport because we actually enjoy that first meal sitting at the gate before we get on the plane. So good. We've got our Mediterranean, they've got their pizza, we're meeting at the gate, and then we're taking off to Hawaii, bro. Yep. By the way, I don't know if we've even told you guys this yet. Dan and Shell are on their way. Oh, They're yeah. coming too. They're almost here. This is gonna be Incredible. I'm so excited. <laughs> Been chilling here for a little bit, ate our food, had our wow. pizza, had our Mediterranean fresh. So good. Our plane is actually already here. When yeah. we arrived, was at the gate, got a notification that our bags had been loaded, and I was like, that can't be. Hold it's up, like yeah. two and a half hours early. Usually, like a plane comes in, people get off, they clean it off, you get on. Well, this one's been here, it's fueled up, it's mm -hmm. ready to go. So we are boarding in five minutes, you guys. Five minutes. Five minutes, seven hour flight going oh, down. Gosh. I think we're fully prepared. We got everything we need to keep ourselves entertained when we arrive. Yeah. I don't know why, but it just doesn't feel real. Bro, I can keep saying that, it doesn't feel real. I'm like, bro, why. you're about to walk on the plane, bro. That's a yeah. Real as it gets, dude. When we get on the plane, we'll be stepping off in Maui. It'll be about 6 30 p.m. Maui time, 10 yep. 30 Utah. So it'll be a little bit late. But I'm excited to see these seven hours fly by. <laughs> I get it. We got some fun stuff. We got some new games downloaded on the Nintendo yep. Switches. We've got movies, some videos. Hopefully, there's gonna be a lot of snacks. Oh, yeah. We are awaiting like a couple of bags. We have like a little bit of extra baggage that we're bringing on this trip. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we have our five suitcases that we packed, our carry ons, but our last two bags just arrived. There they are. <laughs> <laughs> Aloha. Aloha. We have got Dan and Shell in the house. We are headed to Mowawi for eight Mowawi. days of epicness. We've got so many amazing things on tap, and if you know they're coming, you know we're getting the phenomenal photography right here. That cinematic video right here. We got. <laughs> Man, that guy comes loaded. That guy is packing right now. Wait, can't say that in the airport. Take that out. <laughs> so if they still let us board the plane, we're getting on next. <laughs> Guys, seven hours from now, we'll see you in Hawaii. Oh yeah. Okay. Maui. Aloha. Are we going to Maui? We're going to Maui. These guys are gonna try to check in with their boarding pass on their own watches. Each of them got their boarding pass on their watch. We're gonna try it out. Oh, there you go, there you go. You're Comfort plus though. Yep, there you go. Comfort plus. You're boarding right now. Okay, you ready? Oh, you don't have a watch. Sorry, Haley. <laughs> it worked. Okay, Rexy Doodle, Kirby Doo. Good job. Well, I gotta find out which one's mine now. Okay, let's get Hazel. That's hey, this little Hazel. princess there. Let's get Dad. We got Dad. Have a great time. There we time. go. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> let's go, guys. Let's go. It is cold. It's mountainous. There's snow. We're headed to the beaches, the sand, the sun, the fun. Moawi, here we come. Here we go. Are you excited? Hazel? In seven hours. Seven hours. Twenty-one B. We just got on the plane and we had booked Comfort Plus, which is something that we like to do typically gives us a little bit more room. And what we didn't realize is that this plane has been upgraded or updated, retrofitted, I don't know what you call it, but they gutted the first class and made it the Delta One Business Class. And they gutted the Comfort Plus and made it Premium Select. So even though it's just a comfort ticket, yeah. these cabins that were previously Comfort Plus, it is now what they call Premium Select. So it comes with a bunch of cool features that we've never experienced before. So if you're gonna fly for seven hours, dude, I think this is the way to go. So Brexit yeah. Doodle, show us some of the cool stuff they've got here. Okay, so first of all, you've got your trusty remote you probably are wondering what it's for well I'm wanting to go to Sky Kids because I want to watch some shows so I'll just go down and then press OK and then if and you now wanted I'm to in Sky Kids. and then if you wanted to search Brexy how would you do that you would search and then you would use this keyboard <laughs> I put it on the back but it's so cool whole bunch of upgraded outlets with USB ports, regular plugs. You've got foot recliners so you can put your legs out, the seats go back, a little foot holder, the remote control that Brexit Doodle showed you, upgraded TV screen that's a little bit bigger, as well as a little place to hold your headphones. Your headphone jack is actually here comfortably on the middle console in between the two people, and then they've reduced the number of overall seats. Normally there are four across in the middle and two on each side. They've only got three in the middle, as you can see, the guys in the back there, only those three seats to give them more space. We had no idea we were getting this, but we are so excited to be heading to Maui in style.
filling out our agriculture forms, having our very last snack of the flight. It has been a solid almost seven hours. Oh, they're turning on the lights. No, they're not. Somebody's opened a window. It's very bright outside. I, think I turned on my light. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Sunset is coming. Has this been a pretty good flight, dude? Oh, yeah, it's been so fun. This has actually been like super fun. I don't even want it to end, but I'm so excited to be in Hawaii. Let's fill out these forms, have our last snack. We're gonna be there, bro. And then I think we'll yes. go get some dinner because I'm hungry. Yes, I'm hungry too. <laughs> Guys, you can see the sweat on my face. The humidity has hit. We are in Hawaii. Woo! Actually, we're in Maui. Maui, you guys. We are on the island of Maui right now. We are gonna split up because we've gotta grab our car. They're gonna grab their car. We do want to grab some food. I think food is on the agenda. Chicken katsu. Let's grab our cars. Let's get to the hotel. It's like a 50 minute drive. Kids have hung in there like bosses. You guys are doing so good. Yeah. It's like 11 o'clock at night in their bodies. It is very, very late. But the flight, <laughs> phenomenal. Seats were amazing. We had a ton uh, of fun. Watched a awesome. bunch of shows. Got a ton of stuff done. Now let's go yeet. Or eat. Yeet. <laughs> All right, sheesh beast. Here we go. This is when it's nice having your kids grow up to be men, teenage boys with the yeet power of a full-size dude. Just lifting those bags like there's no tomorrow, like it's nobody's business, like it's Maui style. All right, guys, we got the bourbon for the week. This is gonna get us on the road to Hana. Gonna get us from meal to meal, beach to beach. But right now, it's just gonna get us home. Oh, oh, we are home. We are home. Oh, whoa. Oh my gosh, we even got whales jumping out of the TV for us when we arrived. Guys, come on in. Bring the bags in. We have got, Holy look crap. at this. Kitchen, family wow. room, this dining like room. This. And look, I had them set it up with two beds in here. So we've got two people sleeping in here. Whoa, the bathroom is ginormous. Coming in here, this is gonna be, I think mine and mom's in here. Nice big one in here, so it's in the other one. Holy cow, walking across this way. This is wow. incredible. This is home for the next week in Maui, my friends. Woo. What's down here? Oh my gosh, this is like a whole other wing. Oh no, this is mine and mom's. This is ours right here. Holy cow, so the other one in the other corner is one of you guys. Holy cow, you guys. This is amazing. This will be comfy. This will be a fun spot to hang out, edit, eat, stuff like that. This is gonna be rad, you guys. Look at the pool, you guys. That is the pool we're hanging out in tomorrow. Holy, this balcony goes on forever. This is insane. <laughs> oh I can't God. wait to just like have breakfast right now. I just here. wanna see it tomorrow when you can actually see stuff. We're here, we're checked in. We are here, we're, we're actually officially in Hawaii. We're in Maui right now, guys. And here's the thing. It was totally dark when we landed. I know. So the entire drive was on the coastline the whole way, like a 40 minute drive right next to the ocean. Didn't get a chance to see it. Showed up at our hotel, it's gorgeous, it's stunning. We've got a view of the pool, the ocean, everything, can't see it. We're gonna get the kids into bed. We're gonna wrap up day one, which is the arrival day, not really day one. Technically right now, we just checked the time. It is 9.40 here in Hawaii, no big deal. That is 1.40, nearly 2 a.m. for the kids. We're so tired. Let's cross our fingers that they don't get up at 3 a.m. thinking that it's 7 a.m. tomorrow. <laughs> Come back tomorrow to find out, guys. We're hitting the beach, we're hitting that resort pool. We're gonna be all over this island and you guys are gonna be here for every minute of it. We love you. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today and we'll see you all tomorrow. Aloha! Hello and good morning everyone! Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. That doesn't feel right, right, you guys. Yeah, you're right. One, two, three. Aloha! Welcome to Maui. We are so excited that we get to take you along for the next week with our journey through this be so beautiful cool. place. Guys, we have officially moved into this place and we wanted to give you a quick and dirty tour before it gets dirty real quick because yeah. we're gonna be living here for the next seven days. And you know what? We're gonna have a great time. We also need to stock the kitchen with some food. I think, you know what? We're hungry. First order of business, fill in the fridge, the pantry with some snacks, some <laughs> food. And then let's give you a tour of this place, show you what there is, what we have here, what we're working yeah. with. And then the next order of business, guys, it's a sunny, beautiful day out there in Maui. I think we need to go hit the beach. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You guys want to go swim in the ocean today? Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
we're back. We've got all the food put away. We've got things stocked. We've got food literally everywhere. We did the thing where you go hungry, but we were also hungry for like breakfast stuff. We didn't eat much of yesterday, so we got a lot of snacks. We're gonna show you some of those. Everything has been put away. I wanna start this tour right here in this main room, you guys, because when you walk in, when we walked in last night, we had a collective wow as we walked into this massive kitchen. This is an entertaining level kitchen. We've got a full dining table right here. This open area is where we're gonna be hanging out. We'll do our editing sessions with Dan and Shell at night. The island does close down a little bit early, not quite as early as Kauai. The sun sets, it gets pretty dark. We do think we'll probably spend some time back here in the evening hanging out. Let's just walk through. Gorgeous kitchen in here. We got Chef Crew in the house. Crew, show us what you got at the grocery store today, oh, buddy. What are some of the gourmet items? Candy, yeah. Okay, Pop-Tarts, uh, we've got another butter. We've got some, we do have bread. some bread. Too much bread. Okay, we do have to say, is it this one? No. This one we actually oh, call God. Turk's bread. The kids immediately went running Kikos. into the Best aisles bread and said, ever. So good. find the Turk's bread. It's because we got it in Turks and Caicos, could not stop eating it, having toast with it. So fluffy. And it's the first time we ever had it. And then we so found good. out they have it at our own grocery store. Slappies. They have like <laughs> banana and chocolate and Nutella. They have coconut and Nutella. Yeah, coconut and Nutella Slash. and like strawberries. Guys, so we got when you're this, in this. Maui, you've got to get Maui chips. So we got Maui chips. We did get some fun sodas too, right? That you can only get mm -hmm. here. What's some of those drinks? Creepy, show us some oh. of those drinks, dude. This is turning into a quick grocery haul, but we went to this grocery store right across the street. And this is the drink. Okay, and this here is, okay. is the cube form. We got these funny little, what is this, mom? It's, well, this is called Jubes. It says it's a cholesterol free and delicious dessert. So it's little coconut gels. What's oh, a dessert? I don't know. We're nervous. We got it to try. We're nervous. And then we found watermelon crush. I don't know if we've watermelon seen that. Watermelon crush. And then I've never seen this. This is called ice punch. It's literally crystal clear Gatorade. I've never seen this. Some of this stuff might be kind of like the Turk's bread. We call it Turk's bread. Found out they have it at Walmart down the street. But yeah. for us, some of these I things know. are the first time we've seen them. So we snatched them up. 100% pineapple, pineapple juice. juice. You gotta get pineapple juice in Maui. We got pineapple in Maui. We got Maui chips. You gotta do some Maui classics, I you guys. I wanna do a fun breakfast here. So I got bacon and eggs and toast juices to have a fun breakfast for everyone. I think it's gonna be great. Then coming back into here, speaking of eating and having a lot of fun breakfasts and stuff, here we I have a- set the table. Hey, you set the table. Thank yeah. you so much. Mm -hmm. You guys are the best. So this is a huge dining table. We could fit all of us plus Dan and Shell if we wanted to have a meal in here. A lot of our meals will be out, but if we wanted to do something in here fun, speaking of having meals out, we want to make the inside the outside and outside the inside. Right, guys, show us how that's done, bro. What do we do? Look at this. So you just push this thing to the side and your outside becomes the inside, inside becomes the outside, and you are eating indoors, outdoors, enjoying this gorgeous Hawaiian air, Maui vibes. We've got palm trees, we've got ocean, we've got a place to eat right here. We've got sunny skies, gorgeous view of the multiple pools here. We're going to be spending some time today in those pools, hitting the slides. We've got the ocean just right out there. That's actually the island of Lanai. We are going there tomorrow and spending the day on that island over there. Huge, long patio seating here that where we can have some breakfast. We can lounge. Mom and I have our own entrance to it down there where we can lounge as well. One of these really cool, super open air vibes here in Hawaii. Not a lot of places you can do this and have it not be a problem. No problems here feeling that Hawaiian air. Coming this way, you've got kids rooms right off the side here. This is the first set of kids rooms. We had them configure it into two double beds. That way two kids can have their own beds. Right now we've got Ryler and Hazy in this room. Fun view. Coming in here, this is actually just their bathroom. We thought this was the combined shared bathroom for everyone, but we'll show you in a minute. Every room has a bathroom. So a couple of sinks here, shower, toilet, you know, your standard bathroom. Coming back down the hall here, passing the palm on your right, you're gonna come into the next room. Our crew and Brexton are currently sharing this bed. Fun view out that window, big closet right here, and another bathroom for these guys with toilet, fun shower, tub, the whole bit. We thought this was actually gonna be the owner's suite when we checked in, but turns out that is actually down the hall, past the kitchen, past the dining room, the main family room, and into this little area here where mom and I have this awesome bathroom, huge tub, this shower. Hey, Brexy, wanna come show them the cool thing with this shower? Show them how the shower works. This one kind of surprised us. It's coming out from there and there. And then if you want, you got this over here, a bent to hang out right there. So this is what they call the party shower in here. <laughs> okay, let's turn it off before we go to the beach. And then coming back in through here, we've got the closet where we have a few things hung. We've completely moved in. As you know, mom does, has moved in all of the clothes into the drawers. We are fully loaded with swimming suits, tank tops. We've got all of our outfits. Everything is moved in because we're gonna be here for a while. Mine and mom's room here walks out to its own little piece of balcony. So this is the other end of that balcony. Pool and ocean views just out that way. Ha <laughs> ha 
with the villa tour done, we've got our pantry and our refrigerator stocked. We've got food. We are moved in in all of our rooms. It is time to head to the beach, guys. We want to go hit that sand, that sun, that ocean fun. But here's what's cool about this place. Brexy Doodle, show us what we've got in this closet right here. Well, you've got your trusty sand tools. Okay. Like chair. The boogie board. Mom, we got everything we need. Something else cool, the way you get around this place, where you get your towels, you get access to your room. It's actually your room key. Kind of like a Disney Magic Band, but yeah. these are these little RF chip things right out more about this than I do, but beep, beep. that's how you scan beep. to get all your stuff, and it gives you access to your room when you get towels, go down to the pool, things like that. So guys, today I say we do a combo, beach, resort pool day. Woo! We got the beach in mind, we want to go hit up Black Rock Beach, it's got some Woo! cliff jumping, it's got some sea turtles, it's got some waves. Oh, awesome. Then we come back, hit the pool, it's got oh. some water slides, some lazy rivers. Woo! Guys, day one in Maui, are you ready? have come out to Black Rock Beach. Now that is an important distinction because as you'll see the not sand is not black, black sand. sand, it is black rocks. The black rocks are behind us and that is where you can do some epic Maybe. cliff jumping. We do have just out here a gorgeous ocean. It's very similar to where we're actually staying, similar cutout. I think we're just on the other side of that yeah, to be honest. The, river bend. the reason you come on this side is you've got the rocks to jump off of, you've got a few cliff yes. jumping spots, you've got some turtles that could be seen we believe. That's what we've heard, there's so many. Mom's gonna sunscreen up the kids, we're gonna go get in this water after we climatize a little bit. <laughs> I keep saying that, we're not climatizing. It's like when you, <laughs> once you get that, <laughs> locked down, then we'll start climbing those high cliffs over there and uh, go in full sand. I'm just gonna make sure the sand's okay, so I'm just gonna stay. Rexy yeah. Doodle breaking out his prescription goggles for the first time ever now. We've heard there are some dope sea turtles out in these oceans. Yeah, so I need to see them you clearly. You gotta see those clearly. This will be the first time in all of our snorkeling adventures all over the world that you've never been able to really see what the stuff looks like. So you're gonna be able to see clearly. You gotta tell me if you can tell a difference though, okay? Okay. You guys seeing anything? Yeah, it's insane. It's so clear. Look at this. Like, look how clear. Ready? One, two, three, guys. All right, Brexy, you ready? Okay, we're swimming out, guys. We're gonna be jumping off that rock right there. I was asking Brexton if he's cool with it. Are you sure you're good jumping? Yeah. He goes, Dad, I jumped off a shipwreck in the middle of the ocean. I think I can do this. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I forgot. You were the dude who went absolutely full send off the shipwreck. So I think he's gonna be good. That's my boy! I think we're all just more worried about me. But that looks doable. It's doable. Yeah. This water is so blue and so beautiful. I'm here, boys. Let's go. <laughs> Woo! Get right, guys. Yeah, baby. Did you slap your arms? Yeah. Was that fun, dude? Yeah. Killed it, man. Yes, my arms really killed it. Do you think your dad's gonna even jump? Maybe. It was at this moment that he knew. Ah! Hey guys, you're late for class. Just kidding, it's spring break and you're in Maui. <laughs> Woo! 
We gotta get some shave ice today. Hazel! We gotta get some shave ice today. <laughs> today, we have to. First day in Maui, we have to get shave ice. Deal? Do you wanna go get some lunch and then go back to the pool? Yeah. Rick, how are the goggles working? Amazing! Do they work good? <laughs> back he goes. Okay, you guys, so for lunch slash dinner, because we did spend so much time at Black Rock Beach today, we've decided to hit up our own on-site restaurant. We got Duke's right here, one of our favorites in Hawaii. We did it in Honolulu, absolutely loved it because of the beachside vibe. Well, guess what, guys? Ocean is right there, beach is right here. Dinner slash lunch is about to be served. Fish and chips by the ocean, bro. Does so life get good. any better than that, dude? Oh my gosh. Brexit Doodle, second night in a row with some teriyaki chicken. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cheeseburgers down there. Mom's got some tacos. We are poolside now after having a delicious meal at Duke's. That food was good. We found out that they actually will bring you Duke's at your sun chair here at the pool if you want. So I do think we need to dedicate a full day to the resort because this place is awesome. There are multiple pools, yes. water slide, lazy river, so many fun it's things to do so here. It's so much here. Here's the problem though guys, it's already five o'clock. We kind of spent a lot of time at Black Rock Beach today. We really enjoyed it. Sat down, had a nice meal. Hi hazy girl. The kids still want to jump in. They still want to check I know, it out. They so still want to get in. Water slide is currently closed. Not sure we're going to be able to get that in, but I think all this means that we need to dedicate full afternoon to this resort pool, 100%. doing it up right. For now, a few more splashes, finish yes. off this first day, been pretty too. epic. Yeah. We'll go do the little waterfall, kids have got the little lazy river. Still so much fun that we can have. So many things to do, right. we gotta do this one right, we gotta come back and do this another day, but tomorrow, you guys, first thing in the morning, we are taking off very, very early. early. Snuggling. snuggling, is that what you said? No, snor snorkeling. snorkeling. I said snorkeling. We are literally going to a different island entirely. We are going to Lanai, which yeah. is an island just it's off be so much this shore here. You can actually yeah, see it. Yeah, we can it. see it from where we are right now. We're gonna get on the catamaran, spend the day there. They cook we you a meal. We read all about it. They serve snorkeling. you breakfast, and they serve you lunch, and then on the way back, they give you ice creams. I think that there's fun to be had besides food. A lot of food. food, and also, I have heard that the beach that we're going to is rated like the number one beach by some guy named Dr. Beach. I don't know. Anyways, the guy must know about beaches because he's Dr. Beach, so we're going to the number one rated beach according to him on Lanai. So that's going down tomorrow. It's been a pretty awesome first day. It's been you pretty. Guys. I'm tired. It wears on you. Plus, it is also still technically 9 p.m. Yeah, at home. Yeah, I was gonna say. I think I it's think just that time change for me. Still getting used to it. I think by tomorrow we'll be prime. I think so. Especially getting up so early tomorrow. Oh. Is here, Dan and Shell have arrived. This is why we like the big place, the big party entertainment I know. space. Because we like to hang at night, do some editing sessions, eat some treats, some snacks, some goodies. We have got to call it a night. It's not necessarily oh. that early. I guess it is kind of early. But it's early. But we're tired. It is early. But tomorrow, we are leaving early, early in the morning, like 6 15. We've got to check in yes. for a sailing to adventure to an six. entirely new island. We're leaving Maui tomorrow, guys. Sayonara, Maui. It's not Sayonara. Sure. <laughs> oh, 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 Maui. <laughs> I don't know. But we're leaving Maui, going to Lanai, spending the day there. It's going to be a lot of fun. And by then, maybe I can speak one of the many languages. so tired that silly, not even making sense. And we're on like a sugar treat high, which is a nice combination. We just ate so many Oreos. And just before that, we sent Dan and Shell to the neighbors. So make sure you check out our Insta stories. Watch them knock on the wrong door and have someone answer. That was awesome. That's always fun. It's always a party with these guys. Come back. For much, much more tomorrow. We love you guys. We love you. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Aloha! <laughs> Sayonara. <laughs> like yeehaw. <laughs> yeehaw. My cheeks. My yeah. cheeks. Yeah. One, two, three. Aloha. Aloha. Aloha and, and good morning.
morning, morning everyone. <laughs> Early morning is what it is. It is 5.45 a.m. You guys, who gets up at 5.30 in the morning on vacation? The Binghams do. That's how we do baby. Because we have an epic adventure that lies ahead today. It requires getting out of here to the dock and onto a catamaran by 6.15 a.m., you guys, because we're yeah. going to be sailing off, leaving Maui, heading to an entirely new island. We're going to Lanai today. It's going to be a long, fun, beautiful day in the sun. We're going to snorkel, be fed amazing food, and take in all the amazing views. I cannot wait to do a sunrise sailing across the ocean to another island. Wait. We've never done anything like this before. No. Kids got up at 5.30. Mom's got everything ready. We do have sweatshirts on because the sun is not up yet. It doesn't come up for like an hour. Mom's got our swim bag packed. Got all the things that we're going to need to take with us for today. Towels, sunscreen. They'll take care of all the drinks and stuff. We should be ready to go. Should we pack up and head out? I think we do need to head out, okay. actually. <laughs> The way you get beach towels and towels around here is with that wristband. So you have to go to vending machines that have the towels in them that have been freshly cleaned. But uh, I don't know how to put them out till later in the day. So we're walking around the resort right now looking for towels and none of the machines have any towels. So we might have towels for today. Good morning. Welcome aboard, watch your step. Welcome aboard for Trilogy 6. We have officially set sail, leaving Maui and headed for Lanai. We've got everybody up here on the front deck. Hazy Girl loves doing the little mesh netting. They yeah. said it's gonna be splashy on the way back, but on the way out, not too bad. Tomorrow, we have our whale watching tour that's coming right out of that same harbor. We're taking a little bit of a left right now. We got Maui over there on that side. We've got Lanai over there, but I think they've spotted a whale. So I think we're doing a little detour here to go check out a whale right now. Okay. Holy crap, that's big. You're just showing off. Okay, okay. Aloha. <laughs> Look at that dude. Holy cow. Hazy, can you see that? That was pretty epic. We stopped to do like a little safety briefing and as we were doing it, we were listening to the guy who was explaining what to do in case of an emergency where the life jackets were and all of a sudden you heard this goosh, massive full breach on that whale. Of course, nobody got it on video because nobody was paying attention to it, but very rad. And through the rest of the thing, you could just hear it breathing. It's fin, like big flapper came out and was flapping because it was 15 feet long, just that arm, that wing was. So pretty rad way to start the day, guys. Tomorrow, we are coming back from the same harbor and going on an exclusive whale watching tour, literally just going out to find whales. We're gonna be chasing them down in little speed Rafts. So I have a feeling we're gonna see a ton of them. We saw one on accident today on our way out. I'm getting wet with a splash. I'm gonna move back a little bit. We are headed to Lanai, leaving Maui, on the way, checking for whales. Hazy girl, what are we doing when we get there? Snorkel! <laughs> yeah, snorkel. We're doing an audio test on the new microphone here because we got this specifically to be able to talk to you guys while the wind is whipping on a catamaran sailing from island to island. Hazy girl, say something super cute and see if they can hear you. I don't know what to say. Oh my gosh, that was adorable. I hope everybody could hear it. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost to the new island, by the way. Can you see it? We're almost there. Yeah, it's right over there. <laughs> Food doesn't stop. Moving on from cinnamon roll to breakfast sandwiches with egg. What else is in there? I don't see anything we booked this for. <laughs> I think mom might have done the research on this one. It's got more meals than anything else. <laughs> the wind's picked up. We have arrived at Lanai. 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 I've been saying Lanai. Not only have we arrived, I'll give you guys an idea of where we are at right now in relation to the rest of the world. We are on a private, secluded beach. Look at this. We have that entire thing right there to ourselves right now. We're setting up shop, putting on our chairs, towels, crews jumping, getting ready to get in the water. We're gonna be spending our time out here in this ocean. We're gonna be doing some snorkeling. I heard the snorkeling that is fantastic all around these areas, all this reef right here. See it sunscreened up. We're gonna be spending the rest of our day here. You can go hiking, exploring, you can do absolutely anything you want here. They've got this entire section blocked off for yeah. us. And they've got a trailer over there with all of the snorkel gear, everything you need. If you need us, if you're looking for us today, this is where we will be. The island of Lanai. 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 I'll get it right at some point. Oh my gosh. And it's even warm. Look at this water, you guys. It's time to get in, baby. Absolutely incredible. Place in the whole world. 
snorkel. Look at this beach, you guys. This place is absolutely incredible. Kids have got their snorkel gear. We've got our vest. Yeah. We've got our defogger, de mister. We're ready to go. We're ready to rock. We're told some of the best snorkeling is just straight out this way, about 200 yards. So we're gonna head out there right now. See the beautiful coral. We've got everything we need for an amazing time food. here. Lots it's obviously top priority. We had so much fun on just the sailing out here, just the journey to get here. Like a what, hour and a half? It was about an hour and a half, I'd say. On a catamaran between islands in the middle of the ocean. Guys, does it get any cooler than it that? Doesn't. It doesn't. It's about doesn't. to get a little bit cooler than that because we're gonna jump in this ocean. And apparently there is a lot of great stuff to see. I'm so excited. You ready, bro? Yeah. First time with these prescription goggles. Are you going to be able to see? Hopefully. Or not goggles. You did the goggles yesterday. It's snorkel mask this time. Yeah, snorkel. Okay, here we go. Let's go see some fishies after we jump these waves. You ready? Yep. Here we go. Absolutely insane. We are out here snorkeling in the middle of the ocean. I don't know if you can hear me because I've been underwater for so long. But this brave princess right here, Hazel, has swam from the beach, which is clear out there, all the way out by these rocks that you see way out in the distance. We're probably halfway swum back now. Look how far back the beach is. She swam all the way out here. She's been snorkeling with the fishes, just pointing to them, doing so good. Sometimes the mask comes off or she'll get water, seawater in her nose and her mouth, and she's just like, it's okay. I can do it. I got it. It's absolutely incredible how brave you are, Hazy girl, and the stuff that you're doing at your age. We got back from some sick snorkeling out there. How was it? It was so cool. Did you guys enjoy that? Yeah. The best snorkeling ever. It was so cool. <laughs> so many fish. Yeah. And the yellow fish were like, so brightly oh colored. And I tried to go down more like free diving. One time I was like sitting in fish. Remember that yeah. giant school? Oh, I also just saw a fish this big. It was it massive. Was Huge colorful ones. These guys love doing the hold your breath, go down right. Guys like the boss that just going uh -huh. free diving down there, swimming around. These guys were so good, so brave. We were so far out there. And you guys just couldn't kill us. You guys could have gone even further, lasted even longer. Mm -hmm. That was some great snorkeling, you guys. You did amazing. The snorkeling's not done either, you guys. We still have Molokini Crater at the end of the trip, oh, which is supposed yes. to be some legendary snorkeling. Take a catamaran out to like a crescent-shaped moon crater, swim, snorkel there. That's gonna, be sick. That's gonna be unreal. But right now, he told us one of the cool things to do here is to take a walk along this coastline, and then you can look back at Maui from out there, see all this cool stuff. You guys want to go do a walk before we oh, yeah, finish our time here on this island? Okay. Walk. We have come out to the infamous, historic, what would you call this? Pe Split rock, poo poo, hey hey. This was the cool lookout point that they said you've got to walk yes. out and check out. And, and look I how think cool it is. absolutely worth the walk, worth the hike. You actually can go up on top of that. Oh. We saw a couple people up there. Oh. There's no railings of any kind. With us and the kids, that seemed a little bit too sketchy. Maybe sketch. not a smart idea. But very beautiful, very scenic, very picturesque. We got a couple of pictures, speaking of being picturesque. The time has come now. We need to go back <laughs> and get our lunch. We have a delicious catered lunch waiting for us here nice. on the island of Lanai. And then we will take our catamaran tour us back to Maui. Snorkeling is fun, the beach is so much fun. I also really love the boat part, so I'm excited for that.
supposed to be heading back because it actually is time to eat lunch and go back, but crew and I had to do one last crew savage boss move by coming to the edge of this little stick out here, this cliff, and check out these tide pools. The waves hit them, splash up big. It's gorgeous blue water, stunning views, the ocean all around. Literally, we were standing right on the edge of this one right here. We got some tide pools down there. Anyways, guys, I was just talking to crew about this. We're just soaking in this beauty. How lucky we are to be able to be here, standing here. Such an incredible place. I just want it to last forever, and I know it's gonna so quickly be done. We're only on day two of our trip, and already the time just seems to be flying. Mm -hmm. The good news is, a lot more fun to be had, a lot more to be done. Even better than that, it's time to eat right now. Oh, yeah. So what we have going on is our trilogy charters, world famous teriyaki chicken marinated for two days and a honey mustard pineapple glaze on top of that. Cooked over in our barbecue pit. After a delicious meal, we are back on the Trilogy, ready to set sail, heading back home, leaving Lanai. Lanai? I'm gonna get that right. Yeah. And headed back to Maui. Heck yeah. Not a bad place to be returning home to. Uh, bros, how do you beat this? Ice cream sundaes on a catamaran sailing between islands? Is this game yeah. real life, dude? <laughs> We just got word that we are getting the green light to jump in the ocean, the deep blue ocean. It's 195 feet straight down right here, you guys. And we are about to jump in, jump in, diving it in full send. We got a limited amount of time, very rare exclusive opportunity only because there is no wind, so we can't sail. So we're swimming instead. Let's get in, baby. That's what I'm talking about in the big deep. Woo! <laughs> Out of boy, Kirby. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> 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 That's what I'm talking about, Mom! <laughs> this is the coolest thing ever. Guys, let's freaking go. You are in the deep blue ocean right now. We got off of the insane <laughs> trilogy experience, you guys. Visiting Lanai. It was, it one was of, incredible. Of all the things that we've ever done in all of our travels, I think it was one of the absolute was top things. And it wasn't just the experience, the island, all that was incredible. The snorkeling, it was the like water. The people that put it on. The staff out of this world. They were great. Riley and his team absolutely taking it to the next level, guys. Like a level of service that I don't think we've ever experienced in all of our travels. Waiting on you hand and foot. Yeah, More and food we've than I've done, ever seen. Like, private charters of and I still don't feel like we had the service that, that we had experience. today. And it was like so much food. We joke that sometimes <laughs> when you have meals included on your excursion, it's just like something under a little hot yeah. lamp or something like that. It was like a full blown barbecue with multiple rounds. When they give you ice cream, it's not some silly little dinky ice cream. It's a full hot fudge sundae. Was, and if you want more, I couldn't even finish they'll it. make you another one. I mean, it was like that way, start to finish, top to bottom. One of so the greatest awesome. things we've ever done. They were incredible. We are back. As you can see, the sun has set. It is nighttime. We are still chilling here in Lahaina. Is it Lahaina? Yes, is where we are Lahaina. Right now? We are here. We found a great burger joint to go to. It's called right on the water. Burger. We're standing outside right now. We're going to go do some sushi shopping, just window browsing at this point. Then we're going to grab a burger on the water. Can't see it because it's so dark out, but, but we are on the water. It. And I think we could call it a night. Heck yeah. Because we got something happening tomorrow. Do you know what it is? <laughs> yeah, you're going to go watch me swim in the ocean. <laughs> just kidding, you guys. We're going it's on our a anniversary. Oh, yeah. Oh, that. my gosh. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> We just had some delicious burgers. They were in so paradise. good. In paradise. Cheeseburgers. On 
in paradise with Almost. coconut shrimp, fried pickles, wow. French fries, ketchup, ketchup. Oh my God. <laughs> Like oh, and subscribe. On top of that, we had probably the most incredible day today going to Lanai. Lanai. Having an incredible time on the catamaran, sailing from island to island. So it's been amazing. We're gonna try and stop it tomorrow on our anniversary. We do have our anniversary coming up tomorrow, Mandy. Do you remember that? Yes. I said, do you know what's happening tomorrow? She said, yeah, we're gonna go whale watching. And I'm like, it's also our anniversary. I don't know if you recall that part. <laughs> How many years? A lot of them. How many years? A lot of kids and a lot of years. 16. Eat. Is that right? <laughs> 16 <laughs> magical <laughs> years of bliss. <laughs> Celebrating that tomorrow. So, guys, come back for that. We love you. Thanks for hanging. We'll see you tomorrow. We love you guys. Thanks, everybody. Aloha and good morning, everyone. There is no better open to a <laughs> vlog than an aloha, you guys. I know. You guys, welcome to the vlog today. Today is a special one because we're doing group. some whale we're watching. Whale watching. That's why. Nothing else to see here. <laughs> That's all the time we have. Thank you for joining on this whale watching exclusive vlog. It is our 16th anniversary. 16 years together. Do you guys even believe that? How did you stick How with me that long? How are we old enough to do that? <laughs> We've been married as long as when someone's born until they get their driver's license. That entire life span is how long like we've I been married. my driver's license. <laughs> Celebrating our 16th anniversary in Maui. At the time, when we were booking all these fun adventures, all these fun things that we wanted to do, I said to mom, should we do like a catamaran thing? Should we go out and see Hazy in her adorable swimming suit? <laughs> <laughs> what should we do on our anniversary? And the main thing she wants to do, fun dinner tonight. Yeah. Maybe catch a sunset if we're lucky. That kind of a vibe. That would be really awesome. That would be ideal. Maybe do a little bit of shopping. Of course. Perhaps. You Perhaps. never know. She said, what about a fun whale watch? I think that would be a lot of fun. I think it'd be really fun. Watching. We We've got to never see done that it. one little whale like. I mean, little. That was a 15, well, was a 15 foot, foot flipper. Arm. Aloha. We saw that yesterday and I was just like, oh, the whale watching is so cool. So I'm so glad we have that booked for today. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully we see something. I think that they said there's guaranteed. Do feel like if we accidentally stumbled on one on our way out yesterday, it's if we're on two right? hours dedicated on our own boat that's just chasing down whales, technically you can't actually chase them down to approach them, but you are trying to find them, seeking them out watching them. <laughs> we do feel like there's a great chance of seeing a lot of incredible action today. So I hope- Yesterday it said aloha. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully this is absolutely insane. We have Should never done whale watching and all the times no. that I've ever been in Hawaii in my life is our second time as a family, but I went when I was a kid. It was never during whale watching season. So I've never had even the opportunity to do this. Maui is supposedly yes. the place to do it, the place to be, and now is the time to go. We are kind of at the tail end of whale watching season. Tail. Actually ends April 15th, just under a week. So yes. we're hoping that we see something awesome today. It's gonna be a great day because we're gonna go do the whale watching and we might go do a little shopping, go to the pool, who knows? We'll we haven't really hit up the resort pool yet. I think that might be a fun way to wind down after the whale watch because then we're close by, we can easily shower, change, get ready for tonight. But yeah. as you're coming along with us on our anniversary, we're doing it together as a family with these kids, with you guys. We're all here in Maui, love and life. It's gonna be awesome. Let's go. Shabuya. Shabuya. Happy anniversary! 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 Happy anniversary!
<laughs> that always works at the pool. This is just so cool. Like we just come out here, we just sit and wait and hope that it comes out. This is just cool. Oh, that's a big boy. Oh, there we go. There we go, buddy. That's big. I feel like they're just chilling right on the surface right now. Look at that. Oh my gosh. just wanted to test this microphone once again in high wind conditions. This microphone was a purchase courtesy of Daniel. You can see has the same one right there. And I heard his audio when we were at Turks and Caicos on that sport yacht cruising across the Caribbean. You could hear them perfectly. I was so jealous of that. I'm like, I want that ability. So testing it right now, if you can hear us, that's all because of Daniel. So thank you, Daniel, for that. Also, you guys, mom did actually find and spot the first whale of our whale watching tour. There was a whale there, as you saw. It was on a mission. Thing is heading back to Alaska. They come here to give birth and they head back to Alaska, but it was cruising. It was not a in the mood to play. It was not putting its tail out. Certainly not going to give us any jumps of any kind. We are moving on to the next sighting. Just kind of cruise the area here. See where you can see some boats stopped. They're communicating on the radio to each other. When they spot something good, worth going to check out. And of course, relying on our own eyes to make sure we are looking for the blowhole action as it spouts up water. Any tails, fins we might see. Anything like that. So heading out, looking for some new whale watching action. Hopefully to get something a little more active. Somebody who wants to jump out. And if we're lucky, they call it getting mugged by a whale. If we're lucky, it will come up on us. We Legally, you cannot approach within a certain distance to a whale, but if it comes to you, you just have to sit in place until it leaves. We're lucky it'll come right up on us. Got the GoPro poles ready to go, as you can see right there. I'm not the only one who does it. Stick those in the water, get some cool footage. Off on an adventure, heading looking for another whale. Amazing, kids absolutely loving it. Out on this blue ocean, beautiful day. Happy anniversary, Mindy! <laughs> We've got our second sighting. We just saw a tail come out of the water. We are in pursuit right now. You can see there's a lot of other whale watching tours just over there watching it as well. What's nice about these is that they are quick because they're low to the ground, they're small. So when we see something like that, we can head right towards it, get in the area, and hopefully get the shot. I can see it, it's a little too far away, but I can see it right now. Oh, there's a tail, look at that. Oh my gosh, look at that. That was incredible. Oh, dude, look at how the water gets that light blue. But I want some tail action. Oh! Oh, you beautiful beast, you! Let's go! Woo! Oh, look at that turquoise. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Oh, look at this guy. He's feeling it right now. Woo! I don't want to get too long-winded here, but we are right now surrounding a pod of probably three different sets of whales right now. Another one right there. You can see right we've got right people there. just kind of all around. There are some right there. Just saw some right here and some have just headed out that way right there. Here we go, right, right there, right there, right there, right there. Oh, guys, this one's Whoa. close. This one's close. Oh, another oh, one right there. There. Wait, another one back there? Oh, there we go, there we go. There we go. Oh, 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 listen to that, listen to that. Oh, oh my gosh. They're right across from each other, Michelle. Look at this. Oh, oh my, oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. Woo! That was awesome. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yes. Just saw so many, and then as we were sitting there waiting and watching, Brexton spotted some in the distance. What did you see first, dude? I saw like this huge thing just go all the way down. And I was like, keep your eye out, keep looking, and then sure enough, blowhole mist pops up, and now we're on the hunt again, going after the whales that Brexton <laughs> just spotted with his own eyes, bro. Good job, stud. Thanks. taking a quiet stop and a break here. We're gonna throw a little microphone, a little hydrophone into the water right now, see if you can hear the whales communicating underwater. That's a big old hump. Oh, oh, slow motion for me. Woo! Did you get it? Yeah. Oh, 
That's gonna do it for our whale watch on our anniversary. We saw a lot out there. I don't even know if we could count all of them because they would travel in two sometimes. Sometimes you'd have a mom, a cat, and a male. Sometimes you had a Rexy. I will say this about my Rexy Doodle. He was the whale cider, this guy. I mean, this dude he was spotting awesome. them all over the place. He even saw one on the way chasing another one that he had seen. So he has saw them everywhere. He could see when their little hump would come out, he'd see the blowhole shooting up some so mist. Good. Rexy, you were all over that, bro. Was this pretty fun? Yeah. I thought this was pretty cool, this so pretty great. we're heading back in now. Wraps up whale watching for today. Still have the rest of our anniversary to celebrate, though. So we've got some fun dinner plans that we're trying to do. I haven't had shave ice once, and so maybe on our anniversary I could get some shave ice. You think? Yes, absolutely. I haven't had nas evil either. Ooh, maybe a little bit of both, Mindy. We just finished up one of the coolest things. Whale watching. really cool. Now I'm gonna say this, we are the Binghams, we find the positive in all things. I was definitely hoping for some full breach, and I was definitely hoping for yeah. like, maybe it comes so close up with the GoPro and I can get a shot of it. Yeah, At I most, we saw like... tails from a distance. But it was still highly successful. It was Multiple so sightings, fun. incredible. Beyond that, one thing that I've wanted since we set foot on this island. One thing that is, No, it is more Hawaiian to me than anything on a planet hug? Earth. <laughs> no, that's a good anniversary present though. A kiss? A shave, okay, I'll take that. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Go oh, shave ice. I want shave ice. Go get some shave, shave ice. ice. <laughs> Get one of these. Oh, yeah, ninja style. We decided to hit up Hula Grill, one that we have been anxiously anticipating because it's right here on the water on the beach. You may not be able to see the sun behind those clouds, but it is about to set. We just found out our table is ready. They just Your buzzed table us. Is ready. We decided to come here, taking a couple of pics with the kids. Mindy told me that we weren't going to be doing any kind of a dress up event. So, since she walks it's up, besides church, besides church, I know, but Mindy, <laughs> I thought we were going to be wearing swimming suits and tank tops. She comes out looking like this in this white dress, Guys, gorgeous brought, on the beach. I brought sundresses, like fun dresses. And I brought Merch. Both of us That's looking at I did wear the gold merch, so that is kind of like my fancy merch. That's my That's traveling funny. merch. You, you could have gotten me something gold. Ooh, I did. The big golden hug. Oh. Happy anniversary, but guys, I we're about it. to watch the sunset as we eat here at the Hula Grill. It may not look like it, but the sun is right behind those clouds. So once it descends just kind of below that line, I think the sky could light up fiery orange. Wishing us all a happy 16th anniversary. Pretty spectacular. Magical way. 17? <laughs> I knew it wasn't. I knew it wasn't. That's a good open to the vlog. <laughs> Anniversary dinner. Mom went with a nice, delicious fillet steak over fillet here. Fillet with Looking some mash and a little glaze. Looking fire. But Dad, you seem to have gone with a few more things than the filet. The old surf and turf. It is an anniversary classic. You've got a lobster tail with some rice, some mashers, and a little filet over here. Rexy Doodle, what did you go with, my man? Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese, always a classic. Del, what do you have? Crab rusted mahi mahi. Wow, that sounds phenomenal. Daniel, you got the uh, surf and turf. It's not your anniversary. What are you celebrating, Daniel? <laughs> That's kind of a celebration meal. <laughs> Fried chicken. Fried chicken, right guy? Fried chicken. A crazy girl. Burger. Cheeseburger. Burger? <laughs> as good as this is and as yummy as it looks, what best is coming next? Hula pie. Hula pie. World famous hula pie. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> It's been a phenomenal it's anniversary. It's been a magical day. 16 years of magic, amazingness, and goodness. It's been absolutely amazing, and we are so happy that we could spend our anniversary with all of you out here in Maui. It's been absolutely magical, so make sure you come back tomorrow. You guys, we're gonna see a lot more of Maui tomorrow. We're doing the road to Hana, exploring the entire island. We're gonna be doing the bamboo forest, some waterfall hikes, black sand all beach, it. all coming your way tomorrow. Love, Love you guys. guys, we'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.
Aloha and good morning, everyone. <laughs> Never gets old, guys. Aloha. Good morning. Welcome back to Maui. We're so excited. We have such a fun day planned, and we've had so many fun days already. If you guys haven't seen those videos, check them out because every day that we've been here so far has been pure guys, perfection. This has been a trip of a lifetime. We're doing so many incredible things here on Maui, and what is amazing is today we're going to be seeing Maui in a completely new way, different than we've done any day that we've been here. From what we've been told by many, many people, including many of you, this is the ultimate highlight of an entire Maui vacation. We are doing Road to Hana. And that should be really awesome. It's quite an adventure. We have been told by so many people It's not necessarily about the destination. It's about yes. the journey there. Quick tip you guys If you think the road to Hana is a road that leads to Hana You're missing out on the entire experience of road to Hana. You are actually experiencing Maui all along the way Circling the outer rim of the island. And there yeah. are so many things to do We're gonna be going through the bamboo forest today. We're gonna be going to some waterfalls We're going to a black sand beach like we've yes. never been to or never seen in our lives yes, We're so excited for that. So amazing. Think that we have all all the makings to have the most beautiful, amazing, epic day here in Maui. It's gonna be awesome. Mom has packed snack bags. She has got sandwiches. She has got all the goodies we could possibly need to sustain ourselves as we go. We have reservations at the state park where this ultimate black sand beach is. Hitting that road, some of the most gorgeous shoreline and scenery that Maui has to offer. You guys are coming along for the entire thing. It's gonna be awesome. We have started and we are not on the road to Hana just yet, not the actual road to Hana, but this is the road that we would have taken, well we did take it, we just couldn't see it, on our way to the resort from the airport when we landed so you guys can see as you look just out this window, we are driving the coastline all the way around the side of the island and we're going kind of on the south side of the island right now and then we'll cut back up into the middle to start our road to Hana. But all of this is what we arrived to when we got here in Maui because the sun had set, it was dark, we could just see on our maps, on Google Maps, we're like that is ocean right next to us, we just had to take the maps word for it because we we couldn't see it, but now we are seeing it for the first time and it is stunning coastline, you guys. This is Maui at its finest. We haven't even started today's journey. We're taking our first quick stop as we begin our road to Hana adventure because one of the first stops you need to make sure you do is a pit stop, a potty break, if you will. So getting out of the car, there's a bathroom right up here, but we're gonna go take the car up so that we can pick everybody up so they don't have to walk back. It's a little bit of walk up that way. Doing a quick pit stop, potty stop, but we have begun the tour. We have this awesome app that guides us through it, tells us yeah. stuff along the way, tells you, hey, off to the left, you can see this, off to the right, you can see that. If you wanna stop here, you can go to a waterfall. We think we're gonna be able to get the absolute most out of this experience by using that. The fun has begun. Let's go. As we begin this road to Hana, you can see just out the right side of our car here, the Molokini Crater. We're going to be doing that on our second to last day here, one of the last things we have to look forward to. We wanted to put something really fun and exciting towards the end of the trip so you still are driving towards something fun and we can see it from up here on the mountainside. If you've never done the road to Hana, it is an incredibly windy road with a lot of ups and downs. Mom is driving while I video here. She's doing a phenomenal job, not taking your eyes off the road, but you do have to be careful not to get sick so the kids are paying great attention, looking straight ahead. We are just winding around, going up and down, working our way towards bamboo forest, some of the waterfalls, but just taking in this gorgeous scenic beauty here on the island. It's being guided by this app that gives you a little bit of the history behind the different things you're passing, tells you what's up ahead, draws your attention to things. For instance, we're coming up on this winery that's famous for its pineapple wine just on our left. I just wanted to tell you guys, I thought it was cool. We can see the Molokini Crater just out there off to our side. Some of the things that we're going to be still yet to experience while we're here on the island, but just enjoying the tour right now. We're above McKenna Beach, which is near the end of the road when you drive south from Kihei. That large island you see in the distance, that's Kaho'olawe. Ultimate microphone test. I gotta hold the camera with two hands. The wind is whipping so hard along the coastline here. They actually built wind turbines to catch all of this coastal wind. Can you hear me? Is the microphone working? I'm having a lot of fun with this new microphone. But guys, taking a quick stop, not even really on the tour. Just look like a great spot to pull over. We're driving pretty slow, taking our time. A lot of single lane situations. Also, we are on the cliff side. So mom just being extra cautious. Pulled over to let some people pass us. Felt like maybe we were going kind of slow. I cannot wait to find out if you can hear me on this microphone right now. The wind is whipping though. We found this gorgeous spot to pull off just taking the beauty of the ocean and we're heading back on the road i think the microphone's gonna blow off this thing you can see i'm gonna try and walk this way the road just down there mom getting some fun pics this is unreal you guys i don't know that we've even really done much yet and already i am just so amazed at the beauty of this island and this adventure
It's another quick stop on our road to Hana here. We just saw this incredible bay cut out a bunch of pebbles, stones, waterfall jetting out into the ocean. Yes, it's so beautiful here. The road is a little windy, but when views are this great, it's all worth it. We're gonna get back in the car right now. We have the bamboo forest, the magical hike to a couple of waterfalls coming up. It's raining on and off. It's a I tropical know. paradise. We are on the wet side of Haleakala. So we went from a desert side, kind of dry and brown, to this Rainbow. gorgeous lush green mini set. I feel like I'm in a jungle right now, deep in the jungle. Time to go get back in that jungle, take a fun hike to some fun waterfalls. Let's do it! We have started on our first epic adventure of this road to Hana. I mean, the entire thing is an epic adventure. The whole journey is all part of the experience, but we are doing a hike. Now we're at the beginning of a trail that starts with PP. That's all I know because we keep giggling every time we say it. We're heading through the bamboo forest, but as we got out of the car, parked our car and started on this trail, it started to rain pretty heavily. So I have tucked away the vlog camera safely back here in the waterproof bag. I've got the GoPro out. I continue to bring you this adventure, this action, this incredible moment. And Rai Guy's amazing hiking skills. Yeah. Hi Rai Guy. Oh, I'm tough. The app that we were listening to as we came in here said that it is about a two hour adventure potentially. I don't know if that's rated for kids, even though Hazy set in the pace four miles. We can do it. Climbing this. about 600 vertical feet, going by three waterfalls, a lot oh, of epic, scenic yeah. beauty to be found here. Wait, speaking of scenic beauty, what is this? Oh, are you well, are you part of this nature trail? Woo! Woo! Talk I about a nature, babe. Which way are we going? Oh, thank you. The guides are here. Here we go on our adventure. Hazy girl, remember when we went to oh. Diamond Head? You don't know, maybe remember that, but you were going in front of all of us. You were so fast and you were so strong that we couldn't catch up to you when you got to the top of the mountain. Do you remember that? Yeah. It was a few years ago. You would only be no, three. No, I but remember. You remember? Yeah. You're going to do that again today? Just be careful. This one's a little bit rockier than that one, okay? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> We remember that it is PPY, 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 PPY. PPY is the name of the trail that takes us through the bamboo forest and past some of the most iconic waterfalls that Maui has to offer. And check out these cool steps, stairs made out of roots. I mean, this is all natural, baby. All Hawaii, all the time. Hana, here we come. Check it out. I don't even think we're like the, the cool bamboo part. Bing, that's buses. <laughs> <laughs> the sounds are just awesome. That's probably harder for a picture. Oh, hey. <laughs> what? <laughs> See? <laughs> it's a big trait, okay? <laughs> We have officially entered the bamboo forest. It is right off this bridge where we saw that epic stunning waterfall. You walk in, suddenly the entire mood changes because you are surrounded by bamboo shoots straight up. This is absolutely breathtaking. I have never set foot in a place like this before. Still have plenty of gorgeous hike left. Another payoff with some amazing waterfalls, but we have officially now entered the bamboo forest.
We are nearing the falls now, going through one of the most epic parts of this bamboo forest. Back through there, you can see there are these flat planks. I actually was videoing the kids walking on. I'm back to some rocky trails now, but you can hear the falls in the distance. It sounds just amazing. But this just keeps getting cooler and cooler. I yeah. keep thinking, oh, video this. Oh, make sure we get that. Take a picture here. And no matter where we've taken pictures or videoed, it's gotten cooler That's every sick. step. Oh, Hazy Girl, you with us? Are you running? Yeah, okay, Hazy Girl, setting the pace once again, just like Diamond Head, showing us the way. <laughs> go, Hazy, go. And it's funny when we do these hikes, I think initially we're always worried, like, how's Hazy gonna hold up? Are we gonna be able yeah. to get there on time? Is she gonna make it all the way? Never a problem. Always the front runner in these situations. And then you got mom, alleged runner, just pulling up the rear there. I'm enjoying the scenery. <laughs> Holy cow. Nice save, right guy. It is the moment, the big payoff of that hike. Hiking through the gorgeous bamboo forest, you come out to these insane I waterfalls. Cannot believe Mindy, this. look at that shot right there. This Are you joking beautiful. me right now? This is absolutely insane. This We've never cool. even set foot in a place like this at the no. base of the waterfall this no. size. This is spectacular, it is stunning. Beautiful. Literally lost for words. This is unreal, you guys. And we are it's here amazing. right now. Love sharing this stuff with you guys. This is amazing. This is so cool. <laughs> And just as we arrived, the rain has started coming down like crazy. We're talking rainforest rain right now. You think we're underneath that waterfall. It went from a misting to a downpour, and it feels amazing to be here. Literal tropical jungle getting poured on at the base of a waterfall. I mean, what is more Hawaii than this? Influencers just risking their lives for the selfie. My gosh. All right, guys. Well, with that, we're going to pack it up, head back, heading for the shelter of the bamboo forest. What do you call that? The part that's over the top of the canopy, the canopy of the bamboo forest to protect us from this downpour. Hey, guys, don't try and cross the river without us. Crossing one raging river, leaving this waterfall, and headed back to the car. The idea was they were headed to the Black Sand Beach next, you guys. This one we had a lot of fun on, took up a lot of the day. We'll see if we can still make it there. But we do want to check out the Black Sand Beach before we finish our adventures on the road to Hana today. Hazy, is this fun? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> want to know where the road to Hana leads, we have now arrived in Hana. So this is actually Hana. Now it has become quite overcast. There's a lot of rain, so we can't oh, wow. see very far into the distance. But it's kind of the perfect, like, super tropical vibe day to be doing this. Plus, we're in a car. Sorry, Dana Shell, you're on a motorcycle. But they're hanging in there like champs. This is the actual Hana. So if you were taking the road to Hana, hoping to arrive at Hana, this is where you would have come. This is Hana. But along the way, we've made a lot of fun stops, seen a lot of the scenes, and then just past Hana is Black Sand Beach, and that is where we're headed to next. Even if we just get out for a minute just to go check out that cool black sand to take in that view and that beauty. We don't really care if it's cold outside or if it's raining. We just want to have fun. Heck yeah. <laughs> learning these things as we go, but we just found out that this park actually closes. It's a state park and it closes at 6 p.m. And when I say closes, that doesn't mean they stop selling stuff at the vending machine. That means they lock the doors. And if you're in, you're towed and locked in. If you're out, you're not getting in. Well, it is 540. We got here just in time to go experience this black sand. We've parked. We're now running down these stairs to this gorgeous beach. I have never, I've said this a lot on this trip. I've never seen anything like this before. We have never been to an all black sand beach. For the first time, we're going to set foot on this black sand in this gorgeous location. It is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Pretty cloudy, guys. The chilly one. People got sweatshirts on today, but we're doing it. We're making it happen. Black Sand Beach, here we come. What do you guys think? Yes. <laughs> Bye, guys. What's it like, dude? Literally, Sam. Is it trippy? Yes. What? Pick up your feet. Your feet Whoa. look like Mario. 
Whoa, it is. Yes, it's like an Oreo dusting yeah. on an apple or something like that. Yeah. All right, guys, let's get, get out of this so thing. Bad. This is so, get in it, bro. Let's do this. This is amazing. Look at how gorgeous this looks. That is such a weird vibe, you guys. Totally black sand with ocean water coming in. Blue ocean water, green lush hills, and then black sand. This is so stinking cool. Oh my gosh. I'm allergic to water, ha ha ha. That lived up to the hype and then some, you guys. That this was, cool. was absolutely worth like the, the running six minutes of the day. mad dash. Honestly, it was about six minutes. They made an announcement from the top. It's time to get out I'm of like, here. Get out of the water. So we got a few minutes here, but I think absolutely worth it. Oh, that was so incredible. Worth it. That was awesome. <laughs> Well, my friends, at last, we're nearing the end of the Hana Highway and the end of our tour. I hope you've had a perfect day and enjoyed every twist and turn on the road to Hana. This is great! Getting in. Love you guys. Love you. We have successfully returned from the road to yes. Hana. We have been to Hana. We have been back. We survived the longest. one of the most deadliest, dangerous roads in all of America at night in a tropical rainstorm. You guys, we could have driven all the way to California. That was a long, long day of very windy driving, but the big payoff, kids loved the muddy, rainy hike. They loved it. When it started pouring rain, the fun got even like more fun. Yeah, and they loved it a ton, and they did super good. I was proud of them. And then, no joke, we got like six minutes at Black Sand Beach. Couldn't have been more excited about it. We sprinted there, but our feet in the sand they ran from a couple waves it was though. a great day honestly it was such a great day from start to finish and we also got to teach our kids life lesson sometimes it's not necessarily just about the destination it's about having like joy in the journey and that app was incredible it gives you these stories along the way it tells you the history it literally told you the history of like hawaii the islands how they used to fight <laughs> then they got united 620 curves on it all tells you there's 620 curves it tells you something about like 50 something bridges 57 bridges 49 of which are only a one one, one car at a time road. very strategic drive on Mindy's part, we're back. We made it. You guys enjoyed it, I hope. Smash the like if you did. Subscribe, come back because tomorrow we are hitting up this gorgeous resort. We have not taken full advantage of this and resort. Poor Hazy's the and pool, for it every day. slide, the offerings that they have here. So we think we're just gonna chill here, get some poolside food. It's gonna be an amazing day here, kind of unwinding and relaxing before we go hard yet again yes. on Monday on the Molokini Crater. That's gonna be amazing. We love you so much. Thank you for hanging out with us today. We love you, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. You look so handsome. Aloha and good morning, everybody. Aloha. We're so excited for yet another amazing day in Maui. We have a big fun day planned. We kick things off in a major way today, as you can see in our Sunday best, because it is a Sunday today. We're into church for a minute. It's always fun to visit, especially on the island of Maui in Hawaii. Hawaii. Loving the way they do things here. Laid back, we got our flip flops on. Kids yes. absolutely loved it. And then we had to grab some breakfast. The acai bowl has been eluding oh. us to this point. So grab a wonderfully beautiful, tasty, and delicious acai bowl. But we didn't stop there, because we had to try out some Vacation. malasadas because they are right next door in another food truck. And so that is where we are at this morning, eating some donuts after our bowls, after going to church, and on our way out to the resort pool. We're gonna get the kids all changed up, head out to that pool because it is calling us. Beautiful blue waters, the palm trees, the sun, everything. We just can't wait to get outside. Speaking of food, they've got some great poolside food out oh, there. So do? the food and the eating and the fun does not stop today because we're gonna be spending the day here at the resort exploring every square inch of it, seeing all that they have to offer. I understand it has some of the largest or the most pools on all of Maui. We're gonna go find out for sure. We 
we know that there are multiple pools spanning two separate yes. buildings entirely. You've got fun recreational pools with lazy rivers. You've got water slides. You've got more quiet adult themed pools. So all of that and then some. We're gonna be checking it out. You're hanging out with us today. More fun in the sun here on Maui coming at you. It's gonna be awesome. We just came down to the pool, but before we get in the pool, the kids wanted to jump in the ocean first. Real quick, cruise idea. Woo! So we're heading out to let them run in the ocean really fast. All right, Rick, you ready? Yeah. Woo! We're gonna go under. You gotta come! Ah! Ready? Set. What the heck was that? here with the camera. All the kids are doing all their different stunts, all these fun things in the water, and she's capturing all of it. She's making our Instagram look good. So if you guys haven't been over to our Instagram, now is probably a pretty good time. It's at This Is Howie Bingham. And if you wanna see some exceptional pictures, go on over to at Dan and Shell on Instagram. Amazing. <laughs> A wild mermaid. Are you serious? Wild mermaid. I'm a mermaid. Welcome to Yo, paradise. Guys, welcome. <laughs> Brex, did you see it? Yeah. Right, guys going on a little walk with the kids here because this resort has I believe seven separate pools including kids play area they've got some waterfalls hot tubs water slides they've got quiet pools they've got villa pools what they've is this pool, pool? Pools. I haven't even seen this pool yet guys this what pool is this is just pool? A big pool so the way this resort is laid out is it's split into two separate towers so this is the tower we're staying at you can't really see it through these palm trees a lot of gorgeous palm trees here but straight through there is our tower and then this is another tower here and I've been told that there are <laughs> I've been Here's told another tower <laughs> one is kind of more a kid focused swimming pool but that one has the rockier beach and then the one with the more adult focus swimming pool as you can see fewer people in here a little bit quieter we tend to stay away from this one not really how we bing them but it is a great place to lay out oh yeah but if you want to be doing some full send backflips currently hazy went head first on a dive into a shallow one and has a red mark on her head if you want to be doing that that's held at those pools over there so we wanted to stay near the pool where we're gonna be swimming so we're in that tower over there as i was just saying beaches are kind of divided into two separate types of beaches one of them has like a rocky shore it's a little bit rockier really as you get rocky. in okay so really, really rocky. rocky i haven't actually been to that one yet and then the other half is the sandy and it's kind of flip flops so the sandier beach is by the more adult pool, the rockier beach is by the kids' pool. So we're gonna take a little small walk past this side of the resort and over to the sandier part of the beach and give that a shot. Oh yeah. Let's just say we don't get many invites to the quiet pool. I don't get a lot of invites to the quiet pool. They keep us, as you can hear, as soon as we got here, I got about 100 times louder. Keep us over there on the more recreational side of the resort. Like cheaper by the dozen when they walk in, the whole family is just a little much for them. Goes in slow motion, music starts playing, and everyone's like, oh shoot, the biggest have arrived. <laughs> yeah. And then there's that. There you go, right guys. Yeah, Killing it, bro. Yeah, <laughs> Ready? As you leave the pool area, you've got the multiple pools up there. Just off of that, guys, it is a very short walk. Probably showing you from the drone footage already. But then you walk right out onto the beach, right out onto the sand. And this is the Kaanapali. Is this Kaanapali Beach over here? What is this? I don't know if I'm saying it right, but it has a lot of beached whales. To the beach! 
<laughs> we already did our whale watching tour, so literally you just take a little walk from right there down this little boardwalk and you're right here out of this piece of ocean. And this is supposedly smoother and I can already tell by the walk that I'm doing right now, this sand is fine, smooth sand. I don't see rocks, fun little roller ways for the kids to play in. However, Mindy may have already told you guys this. We did determine that today needed to be a resort day because we booked this place specifically for its pools, its water slide, the fun activities for the kids to do. And really they could do that one water slide all day. One of the reasons that we are building a pool in our backyard with a water slide is because from our travel to the various places that we've gone, we have just found that they absolutely love swimming in the pool and going down the slide and they never ever get tired of it. They could do that for hours and hours and hours on end and would never get bored of it. And when we're out doing other things, we're on a catamaran, we're snorkeling, we're taking the road to Hana. They just want to go hit that resort pool. They just want to go down that slide. So that is why you're spending this day today chilling here at the resort, taking advantage of the amenities. The reason we booked yes, this place beautiful. and this gorgeous beach right off to the side gives you the opportunity to do some beach action, get into the ocean, and if they feel sandy, itchy, burny, whatever, pools right across yeah. the way, go jump in the pool, refresh, recharge, repeat. The other amazing thing is that they do have poolside lunch served here. Can we check into that? Courtesy of Dukes. I think that is a high priority and top on everyone's mind. So maybe after we do a little splash in here in the ocean, we order up some food. I think that's a must. Wow. Come here, Pine Skin. We left our goggles and our snorkel mask back at the pool. So, Brexy Doodle with his prescription goggles to spot and fish for us. I understand you guys saw a turtle earlier and I missed it. How was that? Amazing. Well, let's find another one. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you get sand everywhere when it comes back. <laughs> that was amazing, dude. You did it. That was phenomenal. Time has come. It is time to order up some lunch. One of the greatest parts about ordering lunch from here is it's not just any poolside lunch. It is Ooh, Duke's, one of our favorite Hawaiian restaurants place. anyway. Yeah. It's right here on site, and then you get to order it. They bring it to you right at your little lounger and these here. Fun, like little bamboo plate. It reminds me things. so much of this. Reminds me of our Turtle Bay experience on yeah. Oahu because the villas seemed the same, the pools were very similar, the slide was similar, and then I remember really them bringing nice. the food in those little bamboo yeah, that was rounds. Yeah, that's right. That's the last place I had it. And I feel like the thing we liked the most was the nachos. That's I don't know why I'm I remember that. For lunch. And that's what you're getting here so a lot of similarities there it must be the Hawaiian way and we definitely know what we like and we like to eat by the pool so that's what we're doing right now I definitely like that <laughs> got us prime seating today because the kids could park here for probably the next five hours and never get bored between doing chicken fights with the air and whatever they're doing over here. These guys going down the slide over and over again. We could park here for probably an entire week in Hawaii and the kids would feel like they had the trip of a lifetime. So while we wait for our food to be delivered, there's gonna be a lot more food in today's vlog, by the way, because we've already decided tonight, as we are ordering our lunch here poolside, that we're gonna be doing food trucks and shave ice to finish this day. Yet. I wanted shave ice every day. We wanted food trucks a lot of days. It just feels like this trip has flown by, you guys. We've been doing so many fun things, so many activities. It has been action-packed. But while we wait for this food to arrive, Mindy, I wanna go through and get everybody's take. Pool versus beach, what do you got, Mindy, and why? What are you, pool or are you beach? I actually think I would do beach. Really? I that don't has like changed this over 
sand. Years, Mindy. I don't like the sand, but I like everything else. Okay. Wow, that's actually <laughs> impressive because you have been a pool girl as long as I've known you. I know. Other than the ambiance of the beach, but I think I you know. are moving towards more ocean and beach. I do like the ocean. I just like that the sand gets you like everywhere. The of the pool. Okay. Shell, I'm gonna go to you. I already know what the answer is. You already know what the answer is. That's how we OG bing them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm beach all the way. All the Always way. Always and forever. Beach bay, beach, beach. bum, for life. Yes. Yeah. Ocean. Swinging it over to you, but wow, that was really close up. Uh, <laughs> Beach, ocean, or pool. That's not three choices. Beach or pool. What is your preferred place to hang in the water? No, I'm not even thinking. Absolutely the beach. Yeah. Hundred percent. I love the water. I love everything about it. You don't want to come to our pool at our house when we're dying. No, we're not gonna be there much. <laughs> We're going to be at Provo Beach Resort. <laughs> be traveling the globe at some other beach, but if you have time in between your travels, please do come pay us a visit. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Okay, Hazy Girl, we're asking everybody if they like the pool or the beach better. Which one do you like better? I like the pool. You're a pool girl? What do you like about the pool? I just like it because it's not salty and I don't like the sand. What about that red mark on your forehead? Is that from the beach or the pool? The pool. The pool. The pool. Oh, so you gotta be careful diving into the shallow end, right? Yeah, I, I was in the shallow end. Yeah, I love you so much. All right, Brexit Doodle, you're up next. Pool or beach, what do you got? Pool. Pool, how come? Well, there's a water slide, there's waterfalls. There's a lot you can do here. Yeah, that is absolutely true, and I do love the pool, and I love the water slides. Yeah. <laughs> Oh look, is that a picture of Hazy? Yeah. There's Hazy, okay, and ta-da! <laughs> and Hazy! Dad. Thank you so much. Right, Food is coming in hot, literally. Look at this, steak tacos for Rye Guy poolside. Bro, does not get better than that. We got these nachos, were legendary. We got them yesterday or a couple days ago. Everybody has had them on the mind, so we got another round of those. What do you guys get, chicken or pork? We got chicken. Chicken, chicken. oh my gosh, look at that. Kids over here rocking some teriyaki chicken with fries. We've got mac and cheese. Mom, what do you got over there? I've got nachos. Another round of legendary nachos. But these ones are pork? Yes, I did pork nachos. Pork nachos, excellent decision, love it. Rexy Doodle, we haven't talked much about this. I think this is your fifth meal of teriyaki barbecue chicken in Hawaii, dude. Oh, yeah. You had three in a row to start, took a break. Now you're going back to back again. I like your style, dude, Hawaiian style. And I'm trying something new, guys. I saw someone eating these ribs and I was like, those look really good, really mouthwatering. So I'm gonna give these a shot. But I couldn't forget coconut shrimp we love so much. So I got that as well. I got your turn, bro. Pool versus beach, what you got? Yes. Wait, really? Both. You are a twofer. I didn't even know that was an option, but I'm going to allow it. I like both. Both yeah. equally? What do you like about the beach and the pool? Give me something you like about both. Beach, I just like the waves and just like jumping over them, just chilling with the sand, getting the sand in your hands and Heck stuff. Heck yeah, dude. And the pool, it's just chill. You can like swim around in the clean water and it's clear and stuff. Water slides are kind of fun too. Yeah. The ultimate is a water slide off of a yacht into the ocean. I feel like that's a pretty good vibe. Features. <laughs>
last to weigh in on the topic is myself. And I gotta tell you guys, I am 1000% beach only because I have so many great fond memories of the ocean playing in the waves. I do love that salt water when it crusts on your skin. Yeah. I actually really enjoy the he's, sand. He's built different. All of those things just make me choose beach for sure. But you throw in a water slide, now it's getting difficult, you guys, because water park's a huge fan. I do love the swimming pool, but I think I'll be a beach boy for life. Beach for me. The food and fun continue here on the island of Maui. We are doing it up Hawaiian style. Going yes, to a food are. truck roundup. We're not the only ones though. We just showed up. This is the place we came first it's night when we got here. here. As soon as we got off the plane, we came straight here. They were shutting down with that. Gotta get out there early tonight. And yes, I do believe half at least of the population of Maui is here. We're gonna join them <laughs> in these the lines for some food trucks. A hot spot here on Maui. Perfect way to wrap up this day. Food truck's going down. We have got a few shrimp platters. My guy has got the Frenchie, which is basically like a scampi with some garlicky butter. Frexy Doodle got that as well. I have what they call the Azteca, which is a spicy shrimp plate. Mom, Hazy, and Kruby got some pizza. Absolutely loving it. We're hoping, we hurry, we can finish off the night with some shave ice tonight. That'd be the perfect finish to the perfect day today. That would be awesome. Another amazing day here in Maui is it's, coming to a close. That was a much needed day though. We have been talking oh, about on this man. trip, we just have not had any of those days where you just kind of slow down. Kind of like regroup. We usually are good at booking like in every other, where it's like hardcore day, recovery day, hardcore day, recovery day. These have just been hardcore days back to back to back to back. Yes, I think that this trip has been a great reminder for the next trip that we take. We definitely need to build those in. We need that time as the kids were creating those bonds today that can only oh, really happen cute. when life slows down. Today as we sat by the pool, they started kind of getting together in pairs and having fun fun and playing cute. games. We came back, sat around the house for a little bit, seeing them bring those bonds that they created out there at the pool back here to the house as we just relaxed and chilled. It was just a very much needed day today. r, &R here at the resort, phenomenal. It was a really good day. But we have the absolute opposite of a rest and relaxation day tomorrow. We are doing another sunrise sailing. We are taking a catamaran, leaving here at 5.30, 5.45? 5.45. a.m. Heading down south. We are jumping on a catamaran and sailing to the Molokini Crater. Guys, be awesome. this is an iconic snorkeling spot. Crescent moon shaped crater in the middle of the ocean. And we have a second stop. We did book the six hour two stop variety here. So we're gonna be going to Turtle Town to snorkel and swim with the turtles tomorrow. So guys, come back. We're going hard tomorrow. It's gonna be awesome. If you're not subscribed, make sure to go down below, subscribe, even turn on that bell so you see when we upload. Come along on this journey with us. We love you and we will see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Aloha and good morning everyone! <laughs> Guys, does it get any more amazing than this? Look at this, I'm gonna take the focus off us for a second. Look at this sunrise. We are getting ready for another Beautiful. sunrise sailing here on Maui. I'm like almost emotional this. with this moment right now. Need a tissue? I see water maybe in my eyes. The sun is rising here on Maui. It's beautiful. We are getting set to jump aboard another catamaran. We are heading out to the Molokini Crater. It is a crescent shaped, or as mom says, a croissant shaped crater out in the middle of the ocean. We are spending the whole day today out there. It's gonna be beautiful. We also have a second stop where we're going to Turtle Town. Turtle hoping Town? Hoping to swim with turtles. It's gonna be awesome. We knew this was potentially going to be one of our greatest experiences of the trip and it is already starting off in phenomenal fashion. Kids are sitting here watching waves break up against the dock. We are so just about pretty. to check in and board our catamaran. The sun is coming up here in Hawaii. You are gonna be joining us for an incredible Hawaiian adventure, so come along. I'm just putting the focus where it belongs That'd on the be sunrise. Let me just see if I can do this. Because who cares about our faces, guys, when you've got that know, to look at? seriously. Wait, guys, it's a little bit challenging getting people up this morning, but I'm so proud proud of the kids. You guys, the morning came early. I think it's only because it's on the heels of having so many awesome days already on this trip. Kids have just been these traveling veterans. They like, I don't did. know. I told the kids, I'm like, you're experiencing things that not a lot of people do when they go on vacation to Hawaii, because who's catching the sunrise at 5.45 in the you're morning? You're sleeping. These guys have been amazing up, ready. Mom's got everything ready the night before. The kids get in their suits. We get out the door, and I'm just so amazed at how we're able to make it on time to these things when they start as early as they do. Yes. I do think totally worth it when you're catching a moment like this. Totally, totally. <laughs> worth it. These are going to be the memories the kids remember forever. The 
size of this catamaran is next level. This thing is huge. It is also going to be fairly packed today. We have a lot of people getting on boarding right now. They're starting things off with a buffet style breakfast down below. So we're gonna grab some breakfast before we set sail, go through a safety briefing, then hit that open water and head to the Molokini Crater. Sun has officially come up, you guys. It is a gorgeous day here on Maui. Can't think of a better way to start it. And a delicious breakfast, fresh fruit, fresh juice, and hitting that open water on this gorgeous catamaran. We have officially set sail. I don't even want to see us. I want to keep it so that you can just see the sunrise. The sun continuing to go up here behind us as we set sail on the open water. Just leaving the dock right now, headed to two diving spots today. Not diving spots, two snorkeling spots today. We're going to be doing the Molokini Crater. We may be doing that in reverse. You see, we might go hit a different spot first and then get those ideal conditions at the yep. crater. Regardless, we are doing two spots. Started off with a breakfast. We're going to be having a lunch yep. as well. I have a feeling it's going to be our favorite day on Maui so far, dude. 100%. <laughs> We've been out here for a little bit. Riley just brought to my attention that it is only 7.45 in the morning. We have already been sailing on the open ocean. We have got our snorkel gear. They handed out fins. They've sized us for our snorkel mass. We've actually seen two whales flying fish, and I'm not lying. That's what Crew's talking about. Daniel's trying to get it on video. It's actually kind of hard to see. I can't quite catch it. Daniel, though, he's got those mad reflexes to catch the flying fish as they skim across the water. Legit, they have, like, wings. I want to show them to you because you're not going to believe me. When Crew told me, I didn't believe him. I was like, dude, they're not flying fish as far as I know. But sure enough, full-on wings coming off the side of the fish. Like, that's a bird buddy. Dove right back into the water. Pretty spectacular sight. But just behind the camera here, there is the Molokini Crater. It looks like we're going to do that as stop number two today, which is kind of cool because that's the big payoff, the big destination that we are excited about. First one we're going to do, he's looking for a great spot to drop in, kind of get some privacy, some of the area to ourselves as you get to the crater because it is such a hot touristy spot. It will be packed with catamarans and snorkelers, but it is just so iconic, so cool. So it's just over there in the distance. We are, I feel like slowing down just a little bit. So I believe we may be dropping anchor here soon, jumping off and doing some snorkeling in this gorgeous blue ocean today, baby. Vloggers, am I right? So annoying. It's all about them. Oh, look at me saying something important over here. Hey! Nobody cares. We're all on vacation. I love it. <laughs> I think we are settling down and coming in on our first snorkel spot. I think we're just gonna drop anchor and get off in the water. Oh, mom, you're here too. Gonna hey drop guys. Me off. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Speaking of drop anchor, are you getting off anytime soon, man? <laughs> 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 drop this anchor. That'd be a ball and chain. Okay, so. You're the worst. <laughs> Mom, how has this been so far? One of my favorite parts is just getting to the destination, just the sailing out there, the ride across the ocean. We have now gone kind of across the whole opening to another side of Maui. This is definitely the green, lush side. <laughs> Are you making faces behind my chopping hand over there? Yeah, sorry. Anyways, no, I think I we're about to stop. Same. I love it. It's so pretty. We need to stop at some point and get in because if not, we're going to hit shore over here. I don't think we're going to go all the way to that other side. Imagine being that house right there. How spectacular. That house is on that cliff's oh, yeah. edge. First snorkel spot coming up, I believe, here in the next couple minutes, this side of the island incredibly green lush beautiful typically rainy we found that out when we did road to hana that's how they keep it so green is a lot of consistent steady rain but today up in the sunny skies bro what a nerd <laughs> brandon's not the only one hey look at this nerd we have reached our first snorkel spot drop destination. It is this gorgeous area. I don't even know. It's yeah. like Turtle Town, but it's a Turtle Town's like kind of big. Nice very big. Some reef over here to the edge. There are some ladders you can go down in the back, which I think a lot of people choose yeah. to do. That is how you get back on the ship, but we tend to get off in a little different way. <laughs>
stop one. We just got back on the catamaran. They've got snacks waiting for you here. We got oh, hummus. You the broccoli. Oh, there was broccoli. I probably did it blow away in the wind. It's in my belly. Mom had some broccoli. Got some hummus, some pita, some chips, some yeah. good snack. Now that is not lunch. They so got a full lunch on our next stop. We are headed to the Molokini Crater. Mom, what did you think of stop number one today? Keep it real, mom. I it don't even know if there was fish in there. Beautiful scenery, the surroundings. It was pretty. Yeah, it was fun to get in the water, but I didn't really see anything. I maybe saw a fish or two. For Turtle Town, I will say this: I think that they have left town. They are maybe out of town. They are on their spring break. They've gone somewhere else. I don't know where turtles go on spring break, but Turtle Town was empty. No turtles at all. No turtles. Headed to the Molokini though. Visibility there apparently is just as far as so your good. eye can see, crystal clear. So good. Beautiful out here. We love being on the boat. Kids are loving it. Snacking on some goldfish. It's just nonstop food. They know the way to mom's heart. Always have food. Always have snacks on board. And every time we belly. go down there, they've put out a new spread. So they're nailing that so far. Heck yeah. So we're taking the scenic route behind the back side of Molokini. This is the back side. Really, they only come back around here if the weather is permitting and the weather is really nice right now. The waters are nice and calm. So we're going around the back side, getting a scenic tour. As we circle back around to the front side of that, where you're going to see that classic crescent moon shaped Molokini crater that we're going to be jumping into next. And I think we're going to be spending a good amount of time here because it's still pretty early in the morning. This thing goes until the afternoon. I'm guessing it's going to be a lot more swimming, snorkeling, and probably a lot more food to come. Just anchored, dropping in right here. Now they put us at one of their favorite spots because right here we are at the edge of the drop off. That is right, the drop off from Finding Nemo. You can go right up to the edge and it drops more than 300 feet straight down. They said it is a sight to behold. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that when we've been snorkeling, so I'm actually very excited to go right up to the edge and check it out. Boys are already in. I'm gonna go down with Hazy. Rex is getting ready. Mom's getting ready. Crater is back behind us there, so we're not actually up tight to the crater as a lot of the catamarans do. But the captain said this is his favorite spot because you get the same vibe that you get up close there, and you also get that cool drop off feeling. So I'm excited to check that out. <laughs> the family jump party. This is pretty cool. Look how blue it is straight through there. Holy cow. Hey, so hi. Pulled up anchor, we are leaving the Molokini Crater. Now that was some amazing that snorkeling. That was beautiful. Water was so clear. That's so clear. the snorkeling I was looking so for. So blue, you could see forever. You went right up to the, the drop off. It's the drop off from Finding Nemo. Yes. You could literally see so far down. We all worked on our free diving skills. I tried. Everybody was doing a great job holding their breath, pressurizing as they go down. Was, we're becoming seasoned veterans. It was so cool. It was just beautiful. Fun doesn't stop now. Just because we pulled up anchor and we're setting sail, you know what's next. Food. More food. <laughs> Sleeping on the job over here. YouTubers think they can come on these fancy boats and take a nap. We'll bring you more beverages and food. <laughs>
throwing this thing in the sport mode. They're gonna break the sail open. We're gonna hit this open water, turn off the engine, and just float our way in. Like they did in Moana, with the power of the wind. Heading back in right now, yeah. including our sailing excursion. They just turned the engines back on. We had a nice quiet sail there for it a minute. Was awesome. Just yeah. laid down on the netting up front, that got some so sun. Good. The sun is out. It is gorgeous out here. They just gave us ice cold towels. And they're so refreshing. Headed back in now. We still have a lot of the day left. We don't know exactly what we want to do. Maybe do some soupies. We haven't done any soupie we shopping. Any. Soak up a little bit more sun if we can. And just soak in, in these last few moments here on Maui, guys. We are here today and tomorrow, and that's it. We go home tomorrow night. It is impossible to believe. The trip was already over. Yes. Not yet though. Not Still more yet. fun to be had. Not Still yet. more fun to be had. Not an easy job, guys. Kids could not get enough beach today. You know what? We can't either. I just want to soak it up because I heard at home it's supposed to snow tomorrow. Guys, so. 40 degrees and snowing at home. Time is limited here in Hawaii. We are running out of time. We can feel the end around the corner. It's soak so under every sad. last minute. Daniel found us a perfect cutout today. I can't remember what it's called. D DT Fleming Beach. DT Fleming Beach. It is a gorgeous cutout little bay, but the kids don't necessarily love still calm bays. Of course they don't. They want some waves to play in, so we found some perfect size waves to get this party them. started and to keep the Hawaiian fun rolling. Let's get out yeah. there and enjoy. Enjoy some more of this beautiful weather today. Alright boys, I want you to be safe. We're catching us the waves here. That was awesome, dude. Woo! Alright guys, in all this time, one of our favorite things to do in the world is body surfing. If we had boogie boards, that would have been sick too. Alright, here's a good one, guys. Here's a good one. We finally have some waves worthy of body surfing attempts. Here we go. Woo! You good, bro? Oh boy, dude. Look at these things. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh. Rexy Doodle, you surf that thing. You're the king of the world, baby. The king of the world. <laughs> Completely wrong. I got destroyed by that one. <laughs> Just leaving DT Fleming's beach. What did you think of that experience? That was the so fun. Best. Awesome. The best. the best experience we've had. No joke, we have done so many things this week. We've done catamaran tours, snorkeling tours, whale watching. We've had so many adventures and everyone is saying without a doubt, hands down, their most favorite part of the entire trip was body surfing those waves, hanging out on that beach, and the big giant crashing waves, awesome. getting tossed in them. I, we just had so much fun. We took some incredible family pictures out there. I think that was the most amazing finish to today we could have ever imagined. Oh, yeah. absolutely.
closing out one of the best days we've had on this vacation. Yes, we haven't talked about it much because I don't really want to face the reality, but this is our last full day here. This is the last night we're going to sleep here. We actually go home tomorrow, which is not too late in the day. So we do have a pretty full day planned for tomorrow, but yes, tonight we, we just stayed in, ordered pizza in, hung out, I got some stuff ready. we're a little tired. Okay, we're really tired. Get, getting up at 5.30 in the morning, head out for the sunrise, totally worth it, but it wears on you. Ran it so hard today, the kids were exhausted, adults included. So ordered pizza in, hung out that here. That was awesome. Mom got some laundry done, I got some editing done. Just kind of took care of some business because tomorrow we do have to check out of here and be out of here about 11 o'clock in the morning. Then we yeah. have a full day ahead of souvenir shopping, shave ice at a world famous shave ice spot that I've been dying to Brandon's try. Brandon's been dying for that. But today guys, I do have to say is probably one of the highlights of the entire vacation. Really emphasized why we go on vacation. Seeing the kids together today, making new friends from strangers on the <laughs> catamaran, on the beach, running into people that they've never met before and then immediately becoming friends with them, which yes. is very, very fun and cool to see. Sometimes it only happens when you can get them away from home, away from all the other things in life. It's really sweet to witness today. Today was one of those days, you guys. Thank I feel like we you. waited all yes, week for, for this. hanging out. Come back tomorrow. Like Brandon said, we're going to be doing sous vide shopping, shave ice, and not only that, we are flying home on a red eye. Help us. Make sure you come back. We love you guys. Thanks for hanging with us, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Aloha and good morning, everyone. Aloha. This is our last and final day here in Maui, and we are so sad. Guys, to be we're going, going home. home. So when we say aloha, are we saying goodbye to Maui or hello? Because I know well, it means we're both. We're here, so we're saying hello. We're saying hello to you guys. Goodbye to Maui. Today is our last day here, you guys, but we do have kind of a full day on tap. We really do. We want to go to this fun breakfast cafe that we've wanted to eat at since yeah. we got here. We never had the chance to, and so this morning we're going to kick it off at the Kiki's Cafe. I think that Kihei. Kihei, Kihei, Kihei Cafe. We've been wanting to do it. Just been so busy we haven't had a chance to. So I today, know. slowing right down, going there. Also gonna head to Lahaina. It's kind of been our Haleiwa of this trip. Yeah. I feel yes, like. we absolutely love Lahaina. It's so pretty. There's so much there. Just perfect. Do some souvenir shopping. Kids haven't yes. even got any souvenirs to remember this trip by except for yeah. the memories and the videos, of yeah. course. Absolutely. Then we're gonna go check out some of the coastal scenery here. I don't know what else. Do some fun things. Soak up our last few moments here, saying goodbye so to this fun. resort. And then we are hopping on a red eye flight back home, flying through the night back to Utah. And from what we've seen, it is currently snowing in Utah. You guys, that means we won't be in our beds until tomorrow night. Literally for like almost the next two days, we won't be in a bed. Your bed is going to be a seat on an airplane. That's gonna be a little weird. So that's gonna be interesting. Say goodbye to this gorgeous ocean, these palm trees, the sun. I know it's hot, I know we're all sweaty, I know we're exhausted from a long week of fun, yeah. but you're headed back to school and snow. So I guess just live it up while we can, you guys. Gonna yeah. soak it in this last day. Mom has packed everything up, it is ready to go. We're just putting together those last loose ends. We're gonna check our bags here so we can go out yeah, and kind of freely awesome. have some fun, head to breakfast, and hang out in Maui for just a little bit longer. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Soak it in, Mindy. I know. They don't have home. palm trees at home. Cold and snowy. <laughs> See you guys on YouTube, Dan and Show. Like and subscribe right there, baby. Living the life on a hog. Woo! Okay, guys, we made it to Kihei. Really? Because it looked like you went to Gilligan's Island. I on All right, Safari. Skipper, what are we having for breakfast? We have made it to Kihei Cafe, a place we've been wanting to have breakfast this entire time. We do serve breakfast all day, even though it is the lunch hour. We're gonna give it a shot. Now, this isn't the original, right, Shell? The original's somewhere else. Oh, the original's in Kihei. Good, duh. So this is the Kihei Lahaina Cafe, KLC, not KFC. Dude, the portions here, that is cruise. Three massive pancake stacks. There. We got three huge pieces of French toast. Brexton's mind is literally popping right now. Yeah. Chocolate chips on top, but Rye Guy, bro, you are showing me something over here, dude. We got bananas, macadamia, chocolate chips, syrup. Now, they do have coconut so syrup, bro. Yeah. I hear that's the hack. You gotta do that coconut syrup. My sweet Hazy, somebody had to get eggs, Benny, and it was Hazy. You got eggs, Benedict? <laughs> <laughs> what a big girl. You love your eggs, Benny. Mom, which one of these are yours? Between these two full size well, entrees, I don't know if which you know, one but is I'm yours? Still on vacation. But these two adult meals, which one is your your singular adult meal? Oh. <laughs> the mom did get a little two piece here. First two piece in Hawaii. Uh, <laughs> and an eggs bed. <laughs> And I got the waffle with banana macadamia nut, and we were told the legendary hack here is the coconut syrup. So we got two of them for the table, and they're both almost gone. <laughs> Kihei Cafe, tell me about it. How was it? Amazing. Oh, Amazing. I ordered the pancakes, but I never really ordered the 
good. Eggs Benedict because I don't really love the eggs on it. So it's just a Benedict. But I tried <laughs> Hazel's and it was amazing. I had the rest of hers and some of Mom's. Everybody I'm has an Eggs Benedict. Where are we gonna go Mom next? Mom had two entrees. We are gonna just get some kidding. shave ice. I legendary did. shave ice. I didn't finish either one. Oh, right, I yeah. Finished. Cheers. <laughs> Kirby finished mine. I'm gonna tell you right now though, Kihei Cafe, living up to the hype and then some. That was At some Coconut of the most syrup. amazing breakfast food I've ever had. And I'm sure they got great lunch too. We decided to go breakfast. It was on real good. We're headed off to Lahaina, or I think we're actually in Lahaina, but we're going to the fun downtowny part, old timey, shoppy, main street type thing right on the boardwalk there, right by the beach. We were gonna do some sushi shopping there. Yes. And on top of that, they do have a world famous, world renowned, kind of like Matsumoto's esque shave ice joint that has like an hour long line usually every time we've gone by. But today we're waiting in that line. We got we're nothing. Doing but it. time and opportunity, people, soak up the last moments here on Maui. Shave ice coming up next, bro. You ready? Yeah. Let's do it. actually added a ton of color. This is what it was first. That's actually pretty cool, look at that. Okay, that's dope. And that's just from sunlight, it would do that. We have had wild success here on the souvenir we shopping really in Lahaina. Have. It's kind of been amazing. Every store we've gone into, the kids have found something very simple, very fun. We knocked it out quickly. Now we're just kind of walking around town, enjoying the beautiful shops, the ocean. Things I want to never forget. Like, it's hot, it's humid, we're kind of sweaty, but we are going home to snow. So I am just like, I will take all the hot, humid Speaking sun. Speaking of the hot sun, you guys, we just got some clothes that actually changed color in the sun. Raga and I got a t shirt. One color when you put it on changes in the sun to a different color. Pretty cool. Mom got a shirt and a bag. That's kind of Fun. Kids have got some shirts, necklaces, rings, all the souvenirs. Stuffed we'll show you animals. all the stuff that we got when we get home. But for now, it is time for our legendary <gasps> shave ice. Mulani's. Is, is that how you say it? How long did they say the wait was, guys? Two hours? Two hour wait. <laughs> Just kidding, there's nobody here. But let's go get it. I don't remember the last time we had so much Suvi success. Yeah. That was awesome. That was like fast, fun. I love, this is a cheesy dad moment, but I love all the things that people got that were matching. Cause like they wanted to kind of sync up. Rag Guy and I got some stuff. Me and Brex got some stuff. Brex and crew got some stuff. I feel like it was just like it really fun so seeing you guys pick out the stuff. And it's never been so easy. Like a lot of times we kind of struggle to find the things we want. We found something everywhere we went. I do think it'd be fun when we get back to do like a full oh, breakdown of everything we sure. got. Show you guys some of the cool things. Guys, who matched Mon? <laughs> I did! With happiness and love. Oh, somebody matched me. Okay, let's go to some shave ice. Oh, by the way, I don't really think we addressed this. The place was closed. The legendary place was closed. That was the joke about the two hour line because there's nobody in line. And I was like, why is there no line? When I walked we up, we couldn't figure out why everyone was closed. laughing behind they're the They're all camera. laughing at us. But they do have another location that's actually on the beach. We're gonna go ahead to that one. They're supposed to be up and running. Still gotta get this legendary shave ice before we head to the airport, guys. So as luck would have it, the other alternate Shave Ice location is actually just behind the Hyatt. There is some fun beach here. We get to climb in some palm trees as we head to get this legendary Shave Ice. And I do believe it'll probably go a long ways in combating the crowds. Usually there are long, long lines for that Shave Ice in Lahaina because that is the hot spot. Like I said, kind of similar a la Matsumoto's on Oahu. Usually you're waiting a while to get that Shave Ice, hoping that today, first of all, being a weekday, second of all, having to really, really want it to drive to a new location and walk out behind a Hyatt just for some Shave Ice. Only the few dedicated few to the shave ice craft are gonna be doing that. That's how we bing them. We are the few. Shave ice Maui style. What'd you get? So good. I got sour apple and sour lemon. I love that you guys are on full sour. I think Bryce got the exact same thing. It kind of looks like Brazil shave ice. You got the Brazil flag colors there. Pretty good though. Yeah, it's so good. Mom, what flavors did you go with? I got passion fruit, pineapple, and coconut. Ooh, coconut ice right. cream on the bottom, and then got it snow capped. Oh, fully loaded, mom. I know. That's how you be. <laughs> mom knows how to do it. I got cotton candy, watermelon with a little snow cap. Easy girl one with the coconut ice cream. Yeah. How is that? Good. Bryce, you did how's yours over there, stud? Delicious. Love it. We had to stop here taking some of the stunning beauty. There it is. Uh, also, ocean flowers, gorgeous out here. We just had our shave ice. We're looking at some sea turtles swimming through the ocean here. We've got still a bit of time. It is also probably the hottest day of the trip thus far, which is a little bit difficult when you can't actually get in the water. Of our bags back at the hotel, they've been checked in. They're holding them there for us until it's time to leave and go to the airport. But because it is such a full day, we do find ourselves with a lot of time to enjoy. So we're gonna go find something else to do right now. There's this famous blowhole kind of up the coast. We might just take a drive up there, see what that's awesome. all about. Also, quick review of Uluani's shave 
device. It is no Matsumoto's. I don't think they claim to be. I don't think they pretend to be. But it's not a competition. Matsumoto's is the best shave ice I've ever had in my Matsumoto's life. Matsumoto's is pretty dangerous. This one, I'm not gonna knock it, but it wouldn't. It didn't make top five. But the location, beautiful. Yeah, the location yeah. and the views, amazing. Hard to beat some delicious shave ice with this as your backdrop. Let's go take in some more of Maui here before we have to take a flight home because we just got some pictures from some friends and we checked the cameras at the house and there is snow on the ground, people. This is Ew. not that like over exaggerated. Oh, it might snow. Well, there's a flurry and then it goes away. Like the snow has come and it has stayed and it is sitting on our front lawn right now. That means we're going home to that. Let's just stay. Let's just stay. <laughs> Tired? Yeah. And you're beautiful. <laughs> you hitting your head on any of them? Are you good? Standing up here on top of the world, on top of Maui, the wind is whipping, and just below us is the Napa something. Napa Kili, Napa Pili. I gotta look it up, guys. We couldn't remember. We have no cell phone service to look it up. Dan and Jill probably know. But the blowhole is just below you guys. But what is even more incredible, I'm probably gonna get my hat blown away. It is very windy up here. Is the stunning view everywhere you look. Look at these blue waves crashing against the cliff sides, literal edge of the island of Maui. I can't think of a better way to send ourselves off and back home than taking in this beauty. This is gorgeous, this is stunning, this is amazing. This is Maui, people. A bad way to bid farewell and aloha to Maui. Oh, this is beautiful. You guys, we've been told by so many people how amazing it is, how beautiful it is. It lives up to the height. Honestly, the blowholes down there are cool, but I think I just shot some of my most favorite aerial footage I've ever shot in my life. Like that drone footage is spectacular. I told yeah. the kids you've got to literally come to the edge of an island to witness something yes. like this, where the waves are crashing against the shore like that. It's Helicopter awesome. right there. Crew and I have been watching these waves come in and set, so which one's gonna be the biggest wave to crash and just yeah. blow this water everywhere? When it's they hit, so I mean, it smashes and shoots water all the way up to the top. This is beauty that you can't really see anywhere else but right here. Yeah. So, so grateful Dan and Shell told us to come check this out. Perfect last thing to do. Now we gotta go back. It is gonna be a late night and a long day because we still have our entire flight home. Let's gear up for round two of this Let's day today. Starting right now. My guy and I don't want to leave, dude. This is just too this is sick. Awesome. Watching these waves come in. The wind is literally blowing our hats off. That's why I got to turn it around. It's blowing so hard. But this is incredible, this you guys. This is awesome. This is a once in a lifetime, bro. We don't get to see this stuff too often. This is yeah. pretty cool. <laughs> All right, these guys got to turn this bad boy back in. The wow. hog is going home. Take they have had the so much fun though, you guys. If you haven't been following along on their adventures, it's Dan and Shell on YouTube as well as Instagram. And they have rode this thing literally all over the island of Maui, including the road to Hana in a rainstorm in the dark. It is one of the most insane <laughs> videos you will ever see. So go over to their channel, check it out. Dan and Shell, you can see them riding this hog all around Hawaii, all around the island of Maui. But we do have to take it back now before we head to the airport. So saying bye-bye the Harley, but not bye-bye to Dan and Shell. They're coming home with us. <laughs> We are back here picking up our bags, loading up the car, and saying goodbye or aloha to yeah. this resort and to the island of Maui. We love staying here. It's been great, but it is time to head to the airport. Now, we're gonna wrap up this vlog, you guys, because technically, fly home at 12.30 a.m. Utah time, time, so we are going to be going home in the morning, yes. even though it is tonight. We're doing a red-eye flight through the night yeah. back home, but it is a non-stop, so hopefully we'll be able to sleep the hopefully entire the way. Hopefully get some rest. I know Raga wants to go to school tomorrow. We'll have to see You're if crazy. he makes it You're crazy. School, so. Yes, stick around, find out, you guys. Pause, we'll let you guys know all the fun souvenirs the kids brought home, but we were gonna yes. say good night, aloha, mahalo to you. We love you. We love you guys. We'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Aloha and good morning, everyone. Aloha. Hello. <laughs>
guys, a bonus aloha from Maui today because we are starting our yes. adventure home. Guys, can you believe it? I know we've done a red eye with the kids. In we did fact, a red I think eye. It was Oahu last time. Two Turks and Caicos, actually. So we did a red eye, two Turks and Caicos, and that, that one was, was tough because ago. when you get yeah. there, you're ready to have some fun, but you've got to recover. This yes. one not as bad because when we get home, we have the full day to recover. The kids yes. don't have to go to school if they don't want to. But Rat Guy's saying that he wants to go to school. You guys, do you to. think? Give this video a thumbs up right if now. You if you think he will Rat make it to school, if he sleeps on the flight, we're gonna let him go. I just don't want to like miss all that work. I know. I love this kid. He takes after his sister. Maddie used to say that all the time. We're like, what are you thinking? It's vacation. She's like, but I gotta stay on top of my studies. I know. They are better kids than mom and I. These kids don't have to go to school. They're able to make up the stuff a little more easily. We're at the hotel. We have had them folding our bags for a while because we went and had some fun. So if you guys haven't seen that video, go watch yesterday's video. It was a full day on Maui. Really, we were able to spend an entire day here. But it is now nighttime. We're flying home at 12:30 a.m. Utah time. It's 8:30 in Hawaii, so not that big of a deal. But it is technically 12:30 a.m. on Wednesday, so that's why we're kicking this vlog off right now as we head home, jump on this flight, take the red eye, see if Rag Guy goes to school. Let's see if we sleep at all. I think we will. I think we're pretty oh, worn down from one of the greatest vacations of our lives. Did you guys have a good time on this oh, vacation? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So Has awesome. this been pretty legendary? Yeah. You guys, it's been so great. I cannot believe how fast time flies in Hawaii. I'm pretty sure it's only in Hawaii. They say that time slows down because they don't keep as tight of schedules here, but I would contest they actually accelerate time here. I think because that they must. anytime you're here, it's never long enough. It goes so quickly. I can't believe that we were here over a week and it seems like just yesterday we were checking in. I know. It's time to grab our bags, load up the car, and head to the airport, start this flight home. We picked up some additional baggage on our way home. I mean that both literally and figuratively because we have a lot of bags in the back, but we also have Dan and Jill in the house because they were going home with us because you know what? They live in Utah where it's snowing too. Misery loves company. We're all going back to the snow, guys. No. But I do think before we head back to the airport because we're flying through the night tonight, we're gonna be staying up all night partying together on the airplane. I think we better get some food. Is everybody hungry? I'm hungry. We wanna get some food. We hungry. Okay, let's grab some food. I think we've got everything. We've got a guy back here, a sandwich with Michelle. We've got bags in between their legs on the ground. Daniel's back there somewhere. Daniel, oh, there he is. Daniel's back there behind the bags. We got three more kids in the back and about nine more bags. I got a big bag in my lap right here. Mom's got a bag over there. But we all fit in this cozy suburban. So we're gonna take, how many of us are there? Nine, eight, There's eight of us. us. Sorry, Maddie, immediately thought that you were with us, but you're not. Aww sad face, but we are going to take all eight of us and our 22 bags, including souvenirs, to the airport, get this car returned, get some food, and then get ready for the long flight home. Hopefully it goes by quickly because we're all asleep. We have arrived at the airport, dropping off this bad boy. It has taken very good care of us while we've been here on Maui, getting out the many, many bags. But that is what's great about having a rag guy with you. He loves to yeet those bags in and out of the car. I think it's a subtle flex for him, but hey, it helps us because we don't have to get them in and out of them. Some of them are pretty heavy. Bags coming out right now. Getting ready, crew we do. Showing off one of those subies. So sick. Wrapping our bags out, our carry-ons. I do think that we all seem pretty tired. Hoping we can get some sleep on this flight. That is the idea. Crew we do, do you think you're gonna be able to sleep on this flight? I can sleep about anywhere, so yeah. Yeah, because if you have haven't seen the video where we did the red eye to Turks and Caicos. You've got to watch that because I was getting such a kick out of crew falling asleep, like his head on literally like the metal armrest, hanging out into the aisle. And when they'd come by with the drink cart, they would like prop him up and push him into the seat. Like he didn't even disturb him. He didn't even wake up. I'm hoping I sit by you. You sleep really well, and maybe that will help me to sleep as well. Yeah. Configuration on this plane is going to be in twos, so there's sets of two. So there's going to be two people space, two people in the space. So we're in that comfort plus again, just once again the premium select. Stoked about that. We're going to be able to put our feet out. Got the little feet recliner. The seats go back pretty far. I hope we're not distracted by the technology, the remotes, all the fun stuff. Just want to get some sleep. You want to actually use that as a bed and sleep. Maybe. <laughs> Who's this? It's me. It's me. It's 
successfully through the agricultural inspection, the three-step check-in process. You gotta put your bags through agricultural inspection first, checking for any fruits, fruit flies, bananas, oranges, then to rearrange your luggage to get out all of your sweatshirts because when you get home, it's gonna be 40 degrees and snow on the I driveway. Know. So get those sweatshirts out, get them ready. We are leaving Maui, leaving the beautiful temperatures here, but headed home to much colder weather. Also, Easter has sprung here at the Maui airport. We got the Easter bunny. I don't know if he's arriving or if he's leaving. I guess these are the departures right here, so. Time that one pretty perfectly just as we arrived. The rest of the flight showed up right behind us, so the line got pretty long pretty quick. We're headed now through security and hoping that we can catch some food before we have to get on this plane because while they might serve some snacks, it's gonna be in the middle of the night, hoping that we're gonna be asleep for that. And also, it's not really quite enough. No, those little Biscoff cookies are not gonna keep us fed through the night. We are in luck, we have had success. We have found a place to eat, so we are going to be eating. It's like one spot called Sammy's, I think. Sammy's Beach Bar and Grill. Now it is not by the beach, it is in the airport, but nothing else is open right now. The sit down restaurant wasn't exactly what we were looking for. We we're looking for more grab and go, but like I said, the only restaurant, the only game or name in town open right now, and we're hungry. We're getting ready to we're board hungry. a flight through the night. We gotta eat, and I think we're pretty stoked on what we're getting. Beach burgers, big old fatty beach burgers, burgers. some shrimp tacos. I don't know that we've ever eaten this well before we get on a flight. I before. know. I promise you we would get confirmation on the actual name of the blowhole. Now I know that was yesterday, yesterday's vlog, but it is Nakalele. We're just told by Daniel, who has a wealth of knowledge, a never-ending fount and source of all things he knowledge. He knows a lot. And mayonnaise. I've nice. never seen him put so much mayonnaise on that every... plate. <laughs> Stays up late and researches all the things. Before he went to Mokalini Crater. Mokalini. <laughs> Mokalini, though. What did you call it? Mokalini. That sounds like a drink. Another Mokalini. Make that uh, too. Molokini. He did like all this research, telling us all the random facts you could want to know. He's a wealth. Of of knowledge. Indy is actually posting about that. Naka Lele posting on our Instagram. So make sure you're following on there. At this is how we being We've got a ton of fun stories, some reels, great posts. Michelle has been putting our Insta on fire with her photography. Our best pictures always come on these vacations when she comes because she is just next level, making us look real, real good. She really is. We have had our meal. It was actually quite good. Fit the bill. We were very hungry. Came quickly. That also was nice. Now we're trying to grab some candy for the plane because you know we love that. And then also some quick last minute souvies. These are fun to get at the airport. You can get the chocolate macadamia nuts. You can get the shortbread cookies. Come here and they have all kinds of varieties. These are great things to take home. Friends, family, things like that. Bring a little piece of Heck the no, island home with you. I want these for me. These are milk chocolate biscuits. Okay, so one of those for us and then something else for it. Really though, I want that. Get that. Okay, I will. <laughs> Hi right, guys, we are about on the plane. Just got a notification that we are boarding. Mom. Oh, she's back there. Through our second agricultural inspection, do the passed. checked bags in the first bit, and then your carry-on bags in the second bit. But the plane is here. They're boarding right now, running. actually. We're doing a little bit of running, but it was important that we got that meal in, so we got a chance to eat. I just keep thinking how nice it's going to be to finally sleep in a bed, and then I realize, oh We're wait, not I'm doing not. That tonight. <laughs> I'm sleeping on a chair in an airplane. Soaking that heat and humidity. Headed home to the cold, dry oh, desert of Utah. <laughs> Hey, at least it's home and we do love home. Dude, you do get these headphones. Where are you guys at? We are right there. Okay. Oh, nobody's gonna be behind you. You can lay those all the way back. Is getting settled, getting all of our bags put away, tucked in. We are once again in the Delta Premium Select, which we flew on the way out here. It was just a Comfort Plus ticket, but I guess on these longer flights, they've upgraded it to Premium Select. It's so cool. We love it, guys. Go back and watch our flight out here to kind of break down some of the features that they have, but this time, we've got some nice noise-canceling headphones that everybody sees. It's bolts. spaced out a little bit differently. We've got two twos and two, so we've got me and Kruby here. I chose to sit by Kruby because he sleeps on the plane, and I'm hoping to get some sleep. I do have a lot of editing to do, so we'll see how much sleep I get. Across the aisle, we've got Rex and Ragai right there in the middle, and then back behind them, Mom and hazy and they actually have no one behind them so they can put those seats all the way all back the way they're going to be resting in style i hope i hope mom can get some rest hazy can get some rest and when we get home we don't necessarily have to go to school it's a short day for the kids at school on wednesday so if they miss not a huge deal if they want to go that's great if we feel rested if not we can go home unpack lay around do basically nothing <laughs> A little bit of recovery from our epic time in Hawaii, but we're about to take off right now. These Delta little comfy chairs and the layout is so nice. It makes it a hundred times different. So much better. Do we absolutely love it? It's so cool. We got the little feet things to go out so you can lay back, put your seat back, relax, throw a blanket on, throw on some noise canceling headphones, and just enjoy the ride. <laughs> Thank you.
Salt Lake City, local time is approximately 6.15 a.m. We have made it home. It is 6.15 a.m. here, Utah time. But it's not so much the time change, guys, as it is the temperature change. Yeah. Right, guys, what are the highs and lows of our day today? The high of today is 39 and the low is 30. Welcome back to Hawaii. We still keep it in that 10 degree flux, mm -hmm. you know? Like Hawaii was yep. 70 to 80 range, high, low. We We're, like to keep that tight. Utah's pretty much Hawaii, guys. Yeah, it's so basically like the same here. thing. Yeah. 30 to 39. Same. High of 39, snowing on the way in. Different. I cannot figure out what time of day, what day it is, because I kept thinking as we were approaching, it was dark out, it's still dark out because yeah. the sun hasn't come up yet. But it's just kept thinking to myself, man, when we arrive, I'm going to be so tired because it's going to be so late. We're going to have to go to the shuttle, get our bags, go get our car, and it's just so late. By the time we get home, it's going to be the middle of the night. I was like, wait a minute. We just went through the middle of the night. Yeah. By the time we get into our car, the sun's coming up and the day is beginning. Yeah. Right, the big question on everyone's mind. You're going to school right now. I am. You are going to school right now. Yep. This guy's a savage. This guy's an absolute <laughs> boss. So, got to get our bags, get back out to our car, get home, and I still can't wrap my head around the fact that it's not nighttime. Yeah. We're not going to bed. The sun is about to come up. It's about to get brighter, oh, really and we're weird. about to face a new day. <laughs> What day is it again? Nope. Everyone arriving from Hawaii is on this carousel right now. You've got the people coming in from Honolulu, landed at the gate actually right next to the Maui arrivals. These boys' friends were getting off the plane from Honolulu. So they're best <laughs> friends that they hang out with all of the time at home. We're getting off the gate same time, right next to us from Honolulu. There's spring break in Hawaii. That was pretty cool to see them. We are now waiting for the Maui bags to arrive. We have arrived, actually we've arrived they're early. They're still in Maui, we should go back. They have not arrived. It's official. We are home. We are in Utah. And here's how you can tell. The windows are covered in frost from a fresh snow and freezing cold temperatures. But we've made it. We're here. It's morning time. We've done a red eye. I've done them for work. We've done them as a family. Yeah, I think what before. weirds me out is when you arrive and it's still dark, I just yeah. keep thinking that it's nighttime. But the day has begun. The sun is coming up over the mountains. Do you think at most we got about maybe two hours of sleep? Yeah. We would probably be wise to go and catch up on some more sleep. But I don't want to sleep later today because we're going to have a hard time going to bed tonight. Readjusting. On jet lagging. Getting back into the Groove of thing. We are home. We are back. Hey, Zero, how did you sleep on the plane? So good. Uh, mom flight. said you slept the entire flight. Didn't even feel it, Mom. You didn't even know that we went on a plane, did you? Yeah. Could we do? How did you sleep on there, bro? Not good at all. Not good? Yeah. I noticed you were tossing and turning. Every time I saw you in the last two hours, anyway, you were out. Raga, how about you? How did you sleep on I that thing? I slept for like four hours, so I slept pretty four well. Four hours out of six is pretty solid, bro. I had a dream about Justin Bieber. When the plane's getting off, people are getting their bags out of the overhead, and Riley says as loud as possible. I know I slept good because I had a dream about Justin Bieber. It was weird. Because like usually I don't have dreams, but when I do sleep good, I have dreams yeah. and I dream about Justin Bieber and I met him, hung out with him. And I was, was like, Gregory, cool. that wasn't a dream. He came on the plane and thanked us all for that visiting Hawaii. Gregory, <laughs> how did you sleep, bro? You sleep okay? Yeah. Yeah? Or my ears are numb immediately. I definitely did not dream about Justin Bieber. You did guys, you I normally feel like I have this insane talent for sleeping on planes. I could not get could comfortable. I was so frustrated. I normally cannot at all. Usually I definitely I think I probably slept for about two hours, which was awesome. I don't even awesome. think I slept for 45 minutes. Certainly that's not a, a night's worth of sleep but it was something you guys we're home Pizza bags in on. i'm ready to go get some hoodies maybe even winter coats gloves and beanies I'm flip -flops. <laughs> we saw a buddy of ours we met him in the airport on the way out and just kept running into him the entire time he's still in his swimming suit and tank top from <laughs> when he got on the plane in maui that's how you do it it was awesome <laughs> We are back home now, you guys, and this has to be the strangest school morning routine we've ever been a part of. We just got in the door after having been up for the last, doesn't really matter, but we have put our bags here in the corner, just unloaded from vacation. While we were doing that, Rye Guy has changed into his school clothes, and we are having breakfast, and we're about weird. to start a new day. Strange way to kick off this school day. So Rye Guy did make it to school. He's on his way there right now, so if you got that right, if you hit the like button at the beginning of this video, you were correct. Congratulations. Yes. Good job. We're going to get these things stowed away, kind of recover a little but this morning, Raga is gonna go to school. I think the other ones are crashed, almost asleep They're over there tired, on the couch. Yeah. And I think it's smart that they get some rest. Thankfully, some people got a little bit of rest on the plane, but I don't think two hours constitutes a night's worth of sleep. So Raga, you may need to take a little nap when you get home. Probably. <laughs>
What an upside down day we have had today. It is now nighttime, it is dinner time. The kids have been sleeping on and off throughout the day. Bra guy went to school, bro. How was school today? It was awesome. I loved it. I'm so impressed that you went. You had the honor roll assembly. It's kind of cool. Get up, honor the people who had the honor roll and then also the soaring citizen. Yeah. So that was very cool. Glad you went. Yep. Have you napped at all today since you've been home? Nope. Bro, I hope I've, you sleep good tonight. He's actually done really awesome. The other kids, I took a five hour nap. Yes, six five hours. hours, six hours, I think six hours. These guys slept amazing when we got home. Mom and I picked up a couple hours, I think, when we got home. I think we each slept for two hours this morning and then I caught a 30 minute afternoon. Another little afternoon nap, it's just been like on and off. But the nice thing is, everyone keeps telling mom, oh, I bet you've just got that mountain of laundry, all those suitcases full of things to put away. <laughs> mom rocked it while on vacay. The laundry's done, you guys. Yeah. These suitcases are just full of clean laundry. Still, Still also back. sitting <laughs> where they were when we got home early this morning. But they're full of clean laundry, so that's done. Just gotta unload yes. them. And that'll be piece of cake because I actually put them into the suitcase cases of what goes in what room. Wow, that is I, next level organization. The only thing I haven't done myself that I want help with is these boys taking them upstairs. I was offering and volunteering to take those upstairs. The only issue is, guys, my shoulder is trash. I think I'm out of commission. They're teasing me, guys. I actually feel like I kind of got wrecked really hard. We didn't make a big deal out of it in the video because I was like, I don't want to do a whole hurt my shoulder thing, but I came out he of the really water. Did. He walked out of the water like this. Just holding oh. it. It's Kyle driving straight onto my bus. Really no. <laughs> these guys love to tease me. It hurt like crazy. Yeah. I think the only... <laughs> <laughs> the only positive side and good news is that once you do that kind of an injury, it's just out. So any like cartilage or anything that had built up around it, I think it just kind of re -snapped. Yeah, well, It was actually kind of crazy because you walked out of the water and I was like, oh my gosh, it looks normal. <laughs> so something's going on. Like, hey. That bone got moved somewhere. We don't know where, but it is bruised and hurting on the backside. I told the kids that wrecking my one wheel by running into Hazy in the street in front of the house doesn't seem as cool as, oh yeah, I trashed to get wrecked by a wave, Shut bro. Up. So, you know, I kind of got trashed. Shaka. <laughs> bro. Speaking of that, we are finishing off today. Day, our first day back home watching Chasing Mavericks. It just feels incredibly appropriate. Excited, excited. Awesome. Some big wave surfing after we were chasing those big waves those in Maui. Waves that was awesome. cool. I was a little bummed I didn't get in on them. I don't want to leave Hazy on the side. Not make it. They hazy, were too yeah, big hazy. for Hazy. Plus, you can't swim, so there's that. <laughs> <laughs> you were laugh. I am not a great singer. <laughs> but you crushed it snorkeling, took Hazy clear out, like almost yes. another island away. Because we had probably the most fun we've had in a very long time on this vacation. So make sure you go back and watch every single one of the videos. We can't even and, pick our favorite. Uh, are we already talking about what's coming up next? I didn't know if you wanted to say that. We've been spending the time here at the island tonight discussing our next trip, where, when, Which what we're going to do. Which island we will go to next. <laughs> we were feeling really good about it. And then all of a sudden, Ryler threw it on its head. And we actually think we know what we're going to be doing. It's going to be amazing. You guys are gonna love it. So that's gonna be coming up sometime, sometime, sometime. Yeah. shortly. <laughs> We are going to attempt to get the kids into bed for like a nighttime version of sleeping. Yeah. It is 3.30 in Hawaii right now. So it's gonna be interesting to see how that bedtime goes, but I'm thinking we're all pretty tired. I hope we can actually fall asleep and get a night's I worth of sleep tonight. Those, I think they'll get some rest because yeah. even though they slept, I think they're still a little tired. Despite like the red eye, the time adjustment, the jet lag, it feels amazing to be home. It's yes, great it to be back at home base. We absolutely love being at home. It just feels good. Speaking of home, tomorrow, say it's time for a check-in on the house, see yes. what's happened, see what's gone down. We know that, I don't think we ever talked about this. They've flown the trusses in and put the roof in while we were gone. We got some fun pictures of it. We wanna go see it in person. Upstairs is framed out with the kids' bedrooms. Yeah. That's what I'm hoping. It would be so fun to go see. So we'll go check that out. And also, guys, we never got a chance to walk through the Suvies. So to do a full souvenir haul of everything we brought home from Hawaii yeah, let's do that tomorrow. tomorrow. So that's coming up. Make sure you come back for that. Getting back in your team. good ones, too. There's some fun stuff. We love you. Thanks for hanging out with us this last week because we went to Maui. <laughs> Always love having you here with us. So if you are new around here, go down below, subscribe. Come hang out with us every single day. We love you. We'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Aloha. watch our videos, they want to hear from me, they want to know what's going on.